Okay, so, welcome back to Unity, everyone. Where we last left off, the party had just finished getting the uh, villainous merchant arrested and had decided to make their way to the head church of Unity. Uh, on their way there, they went down to the morning and met a new companion, the name of Canyon, a Earth Genasi girl who has a very interesting personality, to say the moment. As they have a strange, floaty, nah, silent, mute person who always accompanies them. Uh, as the party decides to take Canyon with them, as they are also from the mainland and need companions in this new, strange world, the party made their way to Unity, where they caught a ride on the local steam train. Many play, no one no, having ever seen a vehicle like this, uh, enjoyed their little two hour train trip in the Comfort of luxury as they watch trees and buildings whip by at record speeds. They then hit the Church of Unity where they came across a little potion shop known as the Dragon Tooth's Potions, where they met another little funny kobold who sold them many fun items. Kobold named Annie. Little cutesy that everybody loved. Though, uh, oddly enough, your new companion, Caden, seemed to be oddly uncomfortable around said Cobalt and left the place immediately. Uh, afterwards, the party went to the Head Church of Unity where they discovered that there was a strange, mysterious temple that appeared in a town nearby about a week or two ago. The party decided to take a job to go down and investigate the place for the church to see if they can discover the origins of the said strange phenomenon that have been occurring of places and objects and material appearing out of nowhere uh, we will be taking up just as the party is leaving the church most of you had left uvek as you are yes. leaving the church <clears throat> Something begins as you feel a warmth. Uh, I guess I should ask Uvek, where do you keep the hammer? Uh, probably uh, in his I pants. Say, yes, hammer time. Oh, he anyway. keeps the hammer in his pants. All right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, man. It's actually I'm not even going with that joke. It's good for pounding, <laughs> anyways. Uh, Uvek would probably keep it most likely. Uh. But like on his back, but like the hammer face, um, the hammer heads, like resting right beside his head. No, I mean the broken, not your actual warhammer. I meant the one you found. Oh, uh, the broken one, uh, probably on his hip. Then it, it's uh, it's kind of just tied up in like a crisscross uh, wrap, and then tied against his belt. Okay, so as you are leaving, you uh, hear, you feel a warmth by your hip. As you look down and see that the head is slightly gl begins to glow and emits a strange warm light. Ooh, that's awesome. Uwe kind of just like uh, unfetters it from his belt and he kind of just lifts it up and kind of inspects it. As you do, the head priest looks at it and because of all wide eyes, his golden goes, Where did you find that? Mm. It just turns around and just looks at the dra uh, at the dwarf, just kind of like, what'd you say? That the, the so, hammer. Oh, this where, thing. Where did you find that? Uh, well, uh, we might just kind of just. There's like a little bit of red in his face. He's like, well, uh, I found it in a cart, an abandoned cart on the side of the road. What? Back on the mainland. What? The, bring, come here. Bring it here. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, and he just like <laughs> he, he tries to walk closer to the door, but this temple's like freaking huge, so he's like he's practically sprinting <laughs> to break it. Yeah. He's jogging. Like, over. Not, he's like power. He's like he's like power walking. He's got stop, stop, got stop. the hip hip swing and everything. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the clap is real. <laughs> uh, as you go, as you come approach it, he reaches his hand out to grab the hammer from you. Rick just hands it over. It's like, uh, I hope I ain't bringing some curse into this church. Sorry. C curse? No. Do, do you have any idea what this is? Uh, a hammerhead missing a shaft. 
He looks at you flabbergasted. <laughs> uh, well, I suppose that's technically true, but what I mean is, this is one of the great weapons of unity. Great one of what? And Hoover just kind of just, like, kind of just stares at it. But I, I found this on the mainland, though. Why would it? I I don't what? know. This has been missing for oh almost a thousand years. It was once held as a great item of honor among our people. It was used during the early days by the great heroes that helped form unity. There was a great oh. paladin who used this, wamp this weapon. And it just happened to fall into my lap just on a random day when I was out just inspecting, uh, just doing my routine checkups around the countryside. He looks up at you. Well, I mean, if that's what happened, then I guess yes. But... This is incredible. And he looks uh, over. I... Oh. Oops, sorry. No, go ahead. Well, uh, I did try to uh, kind of complete it or reshape it because I thought it was kind of an interesting looking piece, but every time I did, it didn't seem to really want to connect with any metal that I could find. I was even uh, finding, asking for mithril and scraps of at a man time, but no, it wouldn't really fuse together, so to speak. That's because this is a very special weapon, boy. Only those blessed by the gods of unity can make it work. In fact, and he looks over, the shaft isn't lost, lad. It's here. Ooh. Just kind of just scrubs, um, scrubs his chin a little bit, just thinking for herself. Oh, huh. maybe we should wonder what would happen if we brought that back. Do you know where it is? Maybe I could forge it back together if need be, and then find whoever is destined to have it, or maybe just return it back to you guys, since you know it's your guys' property, or at least it's the land's property. He looks over up you, you Uvek. Uvek. Uh, you, your name was Uvek, correct? Uh, yeah, Uvek Delashaw. Uh, listen, Uvek. A weapon like this doesn't come into someone's hands by accident. If you found the Heatherhead, came all across the continents of the old world to here, and brought it with you, there is destiny in that. I think the hammer is belonging to you at the moment. Or just kind of like turns the hammerhead uh, just around, just kind of brushing some of the dirt off it, just kind of thinking to himself, Well, I'm not really sure uh, this simple farm boy is going to be all that's destined um, for something great, but if nothing else, I can make sure that it at least is reforged properly. I tell you what there, uh, Sir Uvek, when you return back from your mission, I will get the shaft here. Back to snods and he'll, uh, do what I keep the hammerhead in the meantime, just keep it safe. I would be honored to. It is a relic. Perhaps Maybe even to... possible to bring back its greatness. Uvek will just, just nod and say, all right. And he uh, kind of just gives it one last inspection, just kind of breathes out, because he's been holding on to this thing for quite a couple of years now and just never really has done anything with it, but he's always kind of just kept it in his pocket. And this is kind of the first time he's kind of letting go of it for a while. And he'll just place it in the dwarf's hand and says, well... Uh, I'm thankful that you were able to identify it. I was just kind of just thinking it was just a cool hammer piece that didn't really react, so thank you for giving me that information. It's more than uh, that. <laughs> <laughs> I think the gods are here upon you. Don't forget, it only just starts to glow because you're here in amongst their eyes. 
I think there's a destiny here for you, Uvak. I hope you stay around to foresee it. Well, I can have destiny. Uh, what do you think about destiny? My mom once said is that it always arrives, no matter how much you try to change us. Wise words. But I don't want to keep your companions waiting. When you return, I'll have it ready, and perhaps we can begin reforging it. Newberg just nods and uh, place hand on the shoulder. Uh, keep it safe and keep yourself safe. Don't. Something like that. Probably. <laughs> just... Probably a lot of people want it. I mean, in unity, it's a religious symbol, but I get your meaning, lad. We'll uh, keep it safe for your return. Mainlander uh, symptom. Still think that a lot of people were kind of like that, looking out for power for themselves. Oh, they they exist, lad. But don't worry. Here, it'll be safe. All right. Rubik just he kind of just awkwardly stands around for a minute and then just like awkwardly bows because he's not really sure how to how to really interact in a church like. That's uh, something this grand and cathedral like, so he just bows politely and kind of scurries out the door, but realizes like halfway through, it's like, damn it, this church is just too fucking massive. The paladin has to keep scuttle walking. <laughs> the paladin doesn't know how to behave in church. Yeah. <laughs> the one who's been chosen has no fucking idea how to use it. It's simple. <laughs> Paladins are paid to be sexy, not to be religious. <laughs> Rick is basically the equivalent of she from that new cartoon. She's like, I have all this power, I have no idea what to do with it, so I'm just gonna have to just wing it until then. Uh, and hopefully Destiny will just kind of land on my lap. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. Actually, you know what? Actually, you know what? That is actually probably the most apt comparison. Rick is basically, I just basically made she but an orc. So Uvek, the dumbest rock. <laughs> Uvek exits, dumbest rock, but like powerful. <laughs> Uvek, you exit the temple where the rest of the party is waiting for you. Uh, so uh, uh, had a bit of a divine, uh, divine intervention. No, that's not the word. Revelation. There we go. Were you touched by some sort of, uh, I don't know, uh, r religious energy? For a second, I thought you were going to say priest. I was like, dude, uh... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, well, I mean, the, ha the you know that hammerhead I was carrying, right? Uh, well, yeah. Yeah, it was, uh... It started to... I don't know. Like, basically... <sighs> some of the lines inside of the uh, hammerhead begin to start glowing, and apparently, uh... Apparently that meant something, and apparently they actually have the shaft of the hammer here. Or the handle, I suppose. And this is important to why? Well, probably not to you, but... I mean, I've been handling on this thing for a couple of years now. And I wasn't able to forge it back home, but... Apparently now I can... See this through. I can... Bring the two pieces together. Forge them together, so... Been excited about that. But I'm not gonna get in your guys' way. In the meantime, I'll, I'll let's go. Let's go and do our little task first, and then we'll deal with that later. Well, I mean, sounds rather important. I hope so. It's uh, it, it, if nothing else, it will be good to know that I at least finished what I was looking to do here, or at least started. Left it in the proper hands. Well, if you say so. Anyway, uh. So, uh, where are we off to again? Sorry, I kind of phased out halfway through because the hammer glowing thing. We're going to the temple. The one that right. showed up here randomly. Right, sorry, sorry. Uh, well, see, does, does anyone need anything else before we go? I don't really need anything, no. 
think I'm good. Alright then. I think I need to pee. <laughs> Take your bathroom break now, dear. Before we leave. He scampers on. Don't you have Stop precipitation? Voice. No potty breaks. <laughs> I imagine that on, like, hands and feet. <laughs> I was uncertain like whether that was away. Judah's character or Judah who said that for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone, <laughs> accent hard at this time of day. <laughs> Could be both, he's just really getting into character. <laughs> Precisely. Also, guys, remember who Jericho is. So He's baby. Precisely. You guys will be... Needs to be? You, the church will supply you guys horses to spe uh, hasten your journey to the town. Isna. As you are each given a horse to ride. Still don't get why we can't use another one of those trains. Well, they probably don't have tracks everywhere, sadly. Can't they place more? I think... Yeah, maybe. I wonder how long it takes to build them. I can't imagine it being too, too odd. I mean, it just looks like steel and wood, right? Exactly. Huh. Well, we did not make too many stops in between from our destination to the other, considering the distance we have. They just don't have any more stops in between. Actually, you know what they need to have? They need to have, like, little tiny sections in the middle of the road where little tiny cots can push through and just bring civil um, citizens around the city. And get run over. Exactly. No. <laughs> I, I, <in> a... <laughs> they smirk. <laughs> yeah, they so have <laughs> giants just living around here. Couldn't they just carry people everywhere? I don't know. Big Toxie seems kind of like it would be corrupt. I wonder what's of the other interesting what species and races do here for work, considering they're integrated into society. This is a good question. Probably have some kind of. Oops, oh, sorry. No good. Uh, probably have some kind of weird job that. I mean, as technology, um, as people progress, the more requirements a society needs to maintain its functionality. Was I believe... It's... Oh, sorry. Oh, you first. Yeah. I believe the question should be, then, who isn't allowed here? We've seen many races that would have been banned or scorned in the mainland, so... Who should we watch out for? Maybe that'll take us to a clue. Um, apparently the worst, um, the worst monster of all was man. It was Dug man! <laughs> what do we see along the way? So, as you guys ride, like, yeah, as you're riding your horses, what do you see? Yeah, like, what races and stuff, I suppose. I mean, at this point, you guys have seen just about every race you can think of. <laughs> And a few races you've never seen before, I'd honestly say. <laughs> Back home, uh, I wasn't allowed at a uh, few establishments, just because... Well, and Uvek just kind of brushes, like, the pointy green here. Um, um, you know. I would say the only things you guys haven't seen... ...would be... <sighs> We've seen, an act, like, actual dragons flying around. Tarasks? Well, a Tarask isn't a sentient creature. That's a beast of death. <laughs> yeah. Maybe not here. A giant... A chicken. beholder? I mean, so far, you haven't seen a beholder, no. <laughs> uh, Where's the fox? Where's the fox? Where's the fox? You know... You've talked to... I, I would say, from general conversation, you know dragons actually are part of this society. Great. Right? I mean, One thing you have yeah. gathered is there is a place in the far north called Dragonfire Mountain. You could probably guess what lives there. <laughs> uh, Lizards. <laughs> what they still said that there are like beasts and things. That yeah, there are wild monsters still. Uh, 
Right? There are there are dangerous beasts in the woods and plains still, because you know, things like purple worms, for example, burrow underneath and are hard to find until they eat somebody. <laughs> so anyone who's we'll... sentient. Then yeah, basically, is... if they have the ability to have a moral compass, they seem to have integrated. But any creature that is obviously just a beast, they don't have the intelligence to, like, Ooh. communicate or have a society, they haven't, by any means. What about Mind Flayers? <laughs> I you did mention Mind Flayers is the one thing that does not actually exist here, that you've never seen okay. of. And when you've talked about Mind Flayers, people are like... What? They don't even know what they are. Like, they haven't even heard of them. <laughs> um. Well, what you see here is they take this little <laughs> tiny bug. But you have seen eye. Drow and Duragar as citizens. Yeah. What yeah. do we. What do we walk past and. Yeah, what, 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 what races that are abnormal do, that we kind of walk by? So. I think. So what you've seen so far, like, you know, it's not a lot you walk by, because, again, you're just walking through planes right now, right? I thought we were still in the city. Oh, you mean in the Church of Unity? Okay, I thought you guys were yeah. leaving. In the church, like, in the in the city of Unity, what you guys have seen about, what would be... One thing you've never seen are bear people. <laughs> right? Uh, Barely believe it. <laughs> Bazinga. Uh, you also see, <laughs> uh, weird creatures like the, you, you actually see one race that you only heard of, and that's the Gith, as in Gith Yankee. Gith Yankee. Right? Um, they actually exist here outside of the realm, but when you, if you had asked them about Mind Flayers, they actually are so far removed from the Gith Yankee that dealt with Mind Flayers, they don't know what you're talking about anymore. <laughs> I don't even think a lot of us would know what Mind Flayers are. I was just... Yeah, prob. fair enough. Uh, I, if your character would know, I have no idea what people would know. They're pretty rare race anyways. Yeah. Uh, you guys haven't heard about the Baldur's Gate incident? Give me the intelligence check to see if his mother told him eldritch horror stories. <laughs> sure, roll me a history check uh, for me, Dude. Judah. Judah's mom is like, alright, Judah, we're gonna have a bedtime Just because we've story. established this is your mom's thing, roll with advantage. <laughs> I, I, I just picture just like, uh, Judah, um, Jericho's mom is just like reading a bedtime story. He's like, alright, Jericho, we're going to read a bedtime story. It's, uh, The Tales of Innsmith from H.P. Lovecraft. I don't even have to yes. try. I really yes. don't have to try. Yes, yes, your mom, though, you know all oh the horrors of my flares. More so that's kept you up at night. Your mom was Lovecraft. <laughs> <laughs> your mother did was I just a... an Oh no, did I have a cat? God. No, we're not bringing up the cat. Stop. Your mother is just telling you every horror story to, to horrify you, and she's just she's making it marketable. Yeah, like I think Jer Jer Jericho gets sent off to his summer camp. All right, here's the story of Friday the Thirteenth. <laughs> oh God! Maybe she was a mind flayer. That would explain a lot. <laughs> That's valid. Trying I mean... to tenderize the young brain. <laughs> oh God! Just like in that damn ch anime. <laughs> Cortisol, my favorite. Uh, I don't think I'm a pharmaceutical drug. Uh, Hemlock. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, just, uh, would, would Micah know, uh, any extras? About Mind Flayers? Uh, no, not Mind Flayers, or... like, uh, other, uh, other races. I mean, in I your know? case, Micah, you, uh, probably you out of everybody in this party has seen more unique races, just because what your past job was. <laughs> Yeah, okay, just making um, sure if I can... I'm trying to think what would be out... Um, a few things you've seen that definitely are odd to see in a city setting is you see dryads. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hemlock will ask each of the races that are, are not normally seen. He'll ask them what they do for work. Which is curious. I mean, the dryads... Well, you just ask a random dryad, is like, I'm a seamstress. <laughs> Like, they seem to do just they mundane just jobs for the most part. Like, they don't... Go to the bakery. Many of them don't specialize. Like, you talk to a giant... For example, you go up and say you, you talk to one of the frost giants. And the frost giant is like, 
oh, I run a bakery, <laughs> right? Like <laughs> they they have like it's gotten to the point where a lot of the jobs are more mundane in the, like at least the ones in the cities. <laughs> but they don't have the giants do a lot of like the laborers' jobs where the huge fucking strength would be. I mean, there are those that do, right? But there are those that. But they have options. The yeah, there, there's options, right? It's like it's kind of like the thing. Just because you're a big guy doesn't mean you have to be it, right? And they've Dude. accepted the fact that, you know, not everybody plays into that. <laughs> Do the giants sell giant-sized baked goods or regular yeah. people-sized baked goods? Oh no! Like if you talk to the giant, they like they they do jumbo sizes. In fact, if you like, they would describe their bakery as a basically a donut. Basically, looks like a hula hoop to them. Would be like hula hoop size to you. <laughs> they just have to use an entire uh, barrel of flour just to make one cake. Yeah, here we go. Uh, Canyon's really gonna follow cost. behind uh, if you're asking everyone everything. Also, jotting things. I mean, actually, it, do you, if you ask specifically about the labor job thing, one thing you will discover from talking to people is a lot of labor actually is done not by sentient creatures, but golems tend to be highly paid and highly like there are there's a golem factory in the in the country that produces Ooh. golems for labor projects like the very mundane labor projects very expensive and not many people have them because of the are, massive cost are they they're, they're not sentient are they no they're golems just... are not sentient that's part of being okay. a golem like they're they're just well, they're robot <laughs> yeah ah, i assume so yes um okay that's what Hemlock goes around is any time they pass by something, he just asks the question. Gwendolyn's just like, ah. it's like having a five-year-old child who's like super friendly and just wants to talk to everybody. He's inquisitive. Yeah. If it helps, Canyon's also joining him for them. <laughs> Uh, you do find a lot of various things like that, though, where most of the, most people seem to just do the job they want to do. Right? Obviously, there are those who lean into it, and upon discovery of conversation with it, you do find out that, yes, a lot of the monstrous races tend to do what they... Like, the majority of Unity's military, and when they say the word military, think of it like EDF, the or the Japanese Defense Force. Like, they're not going to war, but they're usually there to mop up the monsters and make sure things don't get out of hand. Uh, they do tend to still be the more, what was once considered to be the stronger aggressive races. But again, oh, no. mostly because, you know, they're better at it just because they're built for it. But at the same time, it's not like necessary or even encouraged to do it <laughs> it reminds me of and i know anybody no because i know the literal only two people who've watched steven universe future are here <laughs> uh, other than myself uh it, it's kind of like how the rubies just decided to go back to bodyguard jobs just because that's just what they were good at and what they were made uh, for originally yeah, yeah something like that would be a way to put it. like you know you you go back to, you know, what you're kind of built for, but at the same aptitude time... Aptitude is aptitude. Yeah, but know? at the same time... The oh, shut the fuck up. At the same time, like, a lot of other people just have other jobs that are not related to it at all, right? Like I said, you didn't meet a giant who does bakery. <laughs> right? Yeah. I yeah. see. Uh, and again, like, uh, the other thing you do find out is, like... Most people on this continent are mixed anyways. Like, there's few what you would call pure blood. There, there'll be a majority of a certain type, but you'll sometimes, that you like, with your, uh, those with high perceptions, so, uh, you know, you don't notice Squaw, Jericho, uh, <laughs> um, would notice that you just catch hints of other races in them at times. Like, in El, like, some elves that look like they'd be pure elves still just have that hint of, like, dwarf or human or some other race in them, right? Good to, good to know Jericho views every individualized and extremely mixed race as that's a funny-looking insert prime <laughs> predominant race. Indeed. <laughs> Don't worry, Canyon's with him. Oh. Puts them in my pockets. 
Uh, but anyways, as you guys get on your horses and begin your ride to Summer Springville, since there was no shopping else you needed to do, unless there's, uh, it'll take it's just a one day journey, so you will get there. Uh, you will need to camp uh, about mm, a couple miles outside of town, and then finish your journey, and you'll get there in the morning. Uh, for the sake of convenience and quickness, uh, it's an uneventful journey, right? Like this, this is a fairly, it's it's a it's a road, well traveled generally speaking. Uh, there's no real dangers for it. You're not going off the beaten track or anything, and that's where the dangers lie. The roads tend to be very safe in Unity. Uh, you set up camp, get your safe day, and you finish into next morning. Uh, start to arrive in Spring Village. Now, as you guys approach the town. Sam, who has the prettiest horse? <laughs> Everybody, roll me a d20. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm so good at that. I think as long as I just keep saying I'm so good at this, I'm never going to fail. Is that just a slash roll d20? Yeah. Yeah. Or you can use the little die on the left. There's a simple I'm die like roll. the ugliest horse. <laughs> Maybe you should do. Wait, Zaku. That's my. That, that's your your thing. Just keep saying you're so good at this, and just keep <laughs> manifesting that, and you will not fail. No, well, you know so what? far, so, so far, the Paladin Orcs got the ha most handsome horse. <laughs> not surprised. Well, that horse does need to be beefed. If Storm and Crystal roll, we'll see what their horses look like, though. If Crystal gets... If Juniper, horse. Juniper's horse just might be asleep with her, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I just picture... Keep I, just picture I love well, how all three of you got the exact same horse, pretty much. That is the most like horse. Same horse. That is <laughs> oh, yep. <laughs> of course, Mike okay. has got the ugliest horse. Mike I got, got the buck teeth looking one that kind of walks like a cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> the horse is actually just, uh, what's it called? Um, a uh, mule? Yeah, I was about yeah, to say, yeah, uh, zaki has got a mule. <laughs> it's not that ugly. <laughs> Mules aren't ugly, but they're just not horses. So some fucking purists might be angry by their appearance. I mean, they are yeah. a half horse, half donkey. Exactly. They are the jackass. But they got them ears! They got them ears. Yeah, they are pretty. They're pretty awesome ears. Scruff them. Oh, dang. Hemlock horse. But Hemlock didn't oh. get Hemlock a gets a horse. horse. <laughs> <laughs> Hemlock got a horse. Hemlock gets a toy horse to ride on. He got Hemlock, a, gets yeah. a bird. Hemlock gets a bird of prey to ride on top of. Let's go. Let's go. Bed on I mean, let's do that. Uh, anyways, you guys bird finally... Up. Get close and you reach the town of Summer Spring Village. One moment, I'll switch over to a town map. So, as you guys enter the town, you do seem things seem a little off when you first enter. Uh, people seem to be a bit wary. For, for I don't know how to put it, for this area. It's weird that people don't seem to be as happy and friendly as you enter. There seems to be this sort of sullen mood around the town as you guys walk. As you see people kind of muttering together and talking in the corners of groups. Um, you're not quite sure what's going on as you approach. Uh, you do. There are no town guards. You guys just go right in. <laughs> Is there any... Okay. Sorry. Are there any beggars nearby? Uh... No, actually. Interesting. Okay. This Oddly is a sad enough, town, not an impoverished You, you, you think about it, you, you actually haven't seen a single, like, beggar since you got the Unity. <laughs> Dang. If, if only that the were the US. Or... <laughs> no! I mean, you've seen that. people who aren't as wealthy <laughs> as others, but you have yet to see someone like destitute on the streets, starving or something. Either we live in a communist utopia, or we are in a uh, post-1984 uh, that kills off of war. And there is no in-between on this. You know, what you did is you're actually in a place with, uh, what the fuck was that stupid movie called? The, the Purge, and they just kill them all every year. <laughs> called it. <laughs> 
to use them for food. You guys are about to eat. Yeah, this has been yeah, a big long con, green. guys. You're about to enter purge night, and you guys are the targets. Huh? <laughs> yeah, dragons are like real people now. Then eating dragons Jericho, is a weird thing. Jericho <laughs> will clear all enemies with his amazing combat prowess. Amazing. Now Jericho will just be so amazing at the flutes that he'll basically distract everybody while we just slaughter him in the background. Ballad. But anyways, as you guys look about town, you do see several people wandering about and muttering to themselves. Uh, once again, uh, just like every other place in Unity, you see a massive mix of various uh, species all over the place. Um... Though you do uh, see, again, uh, many people seem to be kind of nervous and unsettled by the scenarios. Uh, there seems to be ill feeling, and oddly enough, uh, you know, everybody roll me a perception check for this one. Perception. I'm so good at this. Got my I'm so good at this. Oh, oh, Kenny, you got a bit dirty here. You got a bit dirty here. Oh my god! <laughs> Zion, it worked. Canyon, you just you, Canyon, you you walk into a building. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ow! Yeah, after after, after saying that, I can just be like, well, at least I didn't get in that one, like Canyon. I'm I'm actually that good at this. <laughs> walk into a different building. I mean, that one and also a zero. So I'm <laughs> like, here to oh make god. you look good. <laughs> Uh, so, Gwendolyn and Micah, you two notice. You see a bunch of people who look like they just don't have slept well. Like, you you know, that tired, the bags under the eyes? Many mm. of the people around town seem to be, like, bags under the eyes. And you also notice that there seems to be, like, lots of people with coughs and uh, sneezing, like, like illness in them as well. <laughs> Put on your masks. Oh, Put on your masks. Juniper doesn't notice because he's just like they just look like her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were told about this, right? Like people were suffering in some specific way, or is this the first that we're seeing? Ah, uh, this is the first you're seeing of this. You were not told that anything was amiss in the town. You just knew about a temple. In fact, uh -huh. the as far as you were, the church is unaware of this at the moment. Okay. Um, Micah is going to look for someone who is not coughing. Uh, just just tired is, is good enough. Um, anyone close by? Yep, you can easily found a uh, person. Uh, you, you find this one goblin uh, woman and her small goblin child. <laughs> Baby. Okay. Uh, um, Jericho's gonna yeah. hover them. <laughs> um, Micah will stroll up and. Uh, pardon me. Um, we're here to investigate the temple that had recently popped up into town. We were not informed about the situation with the citizens, though. Could you possibly fill us in? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you, you're you're here for the. She, she, she's looking at you. you. You're you're here from the church. You said. Yes. Um. Well, I mean, things have been kind of odd. The last few days have been. Well, she kind of looks around, conspiratorial, and says, "Something strange has been going on. That temple that appeared a few weeks a uh, few weeks back." Um. The doors have been opened a couple days ago. Before Only just then, now. By whom? We're not certain. Two days ago, the temple was completely locked up when it came here. No one could open it. There was strange writing on it no one could read, and people weren't meant to enter, but then one day, the doors cracked open. Since that happened, people have been plagued by dark nightmares, and Many of the people around town are becoming ill and sick. They're what? Um, dark. They've been having nightmares, and be those with the nightmares start to become sick. She she takes about five steps back from any person nearby. <laughs> <laughs> Social distance. Oh, Actually, Social that distance. brings up an interesting point. Juniper, are you asleep? <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> Roll me a disadvantage frickin' whiz save right now. Oh no. Oh no! Her natural <laughs> enemy! <laughs> so, Juniper, you're okay. sleeping soundly, and then all of a sudden, you feel this stark, kind of like shadowy dread kind of fill your mind. It doesn't seem to be causing too much strife, but it kind of enough to kind of startle you awake. You know that feeling when you have a nightmare where you don't know what it was? You snap awake with that feeling. Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. <laughs> I don't like the way my skin feels on my body. Do you like the way your skin feels on your body? You don't. Why don't you take it off? What the fuck? Take off your skin. <laughs> Carl, that kills people. <sighs> is is Juniper like? Did she make any peep? Is she okay? She just startled awake, as far as we're aware. Yeah, probably just thought it was away. Okay. Nose bubble pop. <laughs> and, and just because uh, I'm sure yeah. someone will ask, you do see the little goblin kid holding. Yeah, things have been really weird lately, though. I remember someone saying one of my friends said that there was a strange man in a ma in a robe who was by the temple, like the day before the doors opened. He's like, hush, honey, you don't have to spread little conspiracies and lies. Well, I swear I do his wheel! <laughs> well, considering oh. everything that's happened thus far, anything is a possibility. We could take a look. If and should... it's not uncommon uh, for things to sort of appear. <laughs> Especially when... I mean, it's sort of the nature of everything that's been happening, right? Yeah, well, I... Uh, my, my, I want... I, I, we was gonna go to the town square where there's someone there who's supposed to come and help us. Who? What's an, an adventurer? That's honey. Okay, yes, we're going. I know you want to see this person. What? what sorry, do you want to accompany us? We are about to head off the, there ourselves. To the temple? No, the town square. I... Apparently, uh, some strange adventurer entered town saying he had help for our problems. Mm, sure. Mm -hmm. No, uh, please, follow us, and she will uh, lead you down the roads, and you make your way towards the town square. One second as I add your tokens to the map here. And the kid will talk all about his adventures in the forest and this cool rock that he found, and also about his friend George and how uh, George ate too much pie and then made some weird noises. But yeah, yeah and wrong. Continued. And just for the sake, uh, <laughs> just for the sake, as I know one of you will ask, there he is. Yeah. There you go. There he is. <laughs> He's a baby. <laughs> oh my God. Protect him. I, I think I'm gonna disintegrate. <laughs> and we also adopt this child. This child. This is ours now. Simply, from... simply stiff arm his and mother. I hate and to do it, but well, I, I know someone will make a comment because you're going to see the mom's picture when you get into the other thing. This is the mom. Oh, no. Because I know someone's going to make the comments, Aki. Oh, no. <laughs> someone's going to make that. Oh, <laughs> Wait, isn't that Nikki? Is that Nikki's art? If it is, I got it off one. <laughs> Damn, like, it, it looks kind of like their style, so I'm just like, huh. But boo <laughs> <laughs> They have, they have pink eyes. Not that also, their hair. <laughs> why, why, I, I figured you guys would want to see the pictures when you pop up. <laughs> Unfortunately, they're in the art layer on the actual map, so I had to transfer them over so I could pop them up otherwise. Uh, <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am, but uh, you're about to burst in the front there. Might want to get something else than, like, vines seems... to hold all of that. Yeah, like, maybe... Can we, can we give you some help? You know? I have you two need any stars. hands? <laughs> some people like Those look heavy. Uh... <laughs> I will help you bear this burden. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, as you guys approach, you guys finally come up as you hear a voice starting to echo out from the town square as you approach. As you hear this 
characters get kind of how to describe the best way to put the voice high energetic and kind of odd accented voice there's her yeah, come one, come all! Ah, the great British Mamba! I'm here to help all you folks, the great gentleman adventurer! As, uh... You guys approach. As you see this rather dapper man in a three-piece suit, wearing a cane, and a top hat with a red tail shirt, standing in front of a giant cart called British Mambas. Uh... At first you're like, huh, that's interesting. And then you get a little closer look at his face. And then you realize something. As his face is that of a snake. <laughs> Ooh. Not, I what oh, I is. love him. <laughs> <laughs> no, that made him infinitely better. I, wow. Are those actually limbs or is that him. magic? <laughs> I, I think. Hmm? <laughs> but what was the question? Thank exactly? you, Zaku, sorry. Be because because he's a snake, are those actual limbs, or is he just hiding magic to pretend that he has some because he's a snake? He's a yard tea, Zaku! <laughs> Alright, <laughs> those are so nice. You, yeah. you, you know. He's a snake, Pepple. Snake. It was as Bittus Mamba goes, on, Yes, folks, ladies and gentlemen, I, the gentleman adventure Bittus Mamba, is here for all of you. I am here to solve your problems, take care of your situations, and tell you that I will solve your problem. Nightmares, sickness, nothing is too great for me. And don't worry, folks, after I take care of the situation, you will all be able to sing my praise. But before I begin my adventure, I know some of you need help. Some of you need assistance. And this is where I come in. He slams the cart in his back. Where I will sell you mystical items and enchantment potions to help those sorrows, with ladies and gents. Before I solve this problem, you need to make sure you're prepared for the worst. <laughs> and he he flame. <laughs> Sorry. Yep. Go ahead. No, go. What were you going to say? <laughs> I, was, I was, I was going to say... Keith made a literal snake oil salesman <laughs> a snake. <laughs> Thank you for picking up on that, Storm. <laughs> yeah, snakes, you know, snake, you snake. That was the universe. inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he's a perfectly honest businessman. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> shady at all. Yeah. His please taxes go to good let, reasons. Please don't let Jericho or Canyon get close to this man. <laughs> <laughs> please don't. He looks interested. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Jericho doesn't. I mean, I'm. Let's be honest. I'm sure he knows about UNT as well. However, this one just looks so distinguished. <laughs> I mean, you can roll God, me another history. You can roll me another history <laughs> check to see if you know about UNT, Judah. Is it even? Is there? Is there even? Is there even? <laughs> is there I mean, even? You get advantage because they are a monster yeah. race, and it's your mom. <laughs> uh, you've heard of Yanti? It is really weird to see one just in a suit <laughs> and a tie. Yeah, Jericho literally like, you know, takes his fist, wipes at his like his eyes. It's like, huh? Double. Blow. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I tell you here, with these mystical amulets! And he brings out, like, this little, ch like, taps his thing, and a little, like, uh, sliding board pops down. You see just a bunch of little chain amulets just start dangling from the side of the cart. <laughs> One of these amulets will protect all of you for day and night, keeping your dreams safe, making sure nothing will affect you. And those of you who are feeling a little under the weather, he taps the bottom of his cart, and it pops out, and you see a bunch of little, little potion bottles pop out of the bottom. These are guaranteed to save and still have any sort of sickness or disease, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, the uh, Great Adventures Ms. Mamba has gone through many great adventures to discover such great treasures and alchemical chemical supplies. Come on, come on, and a dirt cheap one silver for the potion and a mere gold for the amulet. <laughs> With only 10 easy payments of $59.99, <laughs> you too can get a potion to... Take away your sorrows. Jericho is beginning to approach. Can I <laughs> so such good prices. I want to incite him before they start approaching. <laughs> you can, yeah. Go ahead. I, I'm also going to incite... Why would you need to doubt this one? I'm going to roll uh, at my... I'm going to roll amazing. amazing. That's a pretty good amazing. price. It's 21. Uh...
I mean, as you look at him, uh, you, I gather you're trying to insight whether or not he's full of bullshit. Yep. He sounds like he's full of bullshit. <laughs> to be fair, you what insight him, and it's like, yeah, it's actually a little hard to tell. <laughs> no shit. He's, he's got, this dude's got he's charisma good. up the yanks. <laughs> yeah, I figured. Uh, but at the same time, he does seem to have some genuineness to him, oddly enough. It, it's the really... best liars are the people who believe their own lies. <laughs> <laughs> we love an anti-vaxxer. Yeah. Oh, God. Jericho, the as you approach, he goes, the You there, that handsome half out gentleman with the dashing beard! Approach, you seem to be interested! <laughs> He's folded. He called him handsome. You can't do that. <laughs> Micah is following I, Jericho. <laughs> like a very concerned mother, ready to I hit attack my table someone so in the face. Hard. I hit my table so hard. Like, it's impossible. Don't compliment Jericho, otherwise you can get him to do anything he fucking... He just literally, like, points at him. He looks to his left and to his right, and then he points at it exactly. Me? Is for me? Yes, my handsome friend. Do approach. Now let everyone see that magnificent face of yours. <laughs> He's falling in love. That's like it. A school child. This is, this is horrible. <laughs> Look at here, ladies and gentlemen. This man knows quality. He knows quantity. He knows that British Mob only has the best materials allowed. <laughs> and he, he does that little thing where he takes the cane, cracks it down to the thing where it pops up in the air, and snatches it. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, I will prove to you that this man here will be able to think. Now, sir, have we ever met before? Uh, um. <laughs> N no, but I certainly wish that that had happened earlier. <laughs> well then, you'll be happy to know, ladies and gentlemen, that I intend to help this poor man here. He will be safe and sound, sir. Now, obviously, you know about the horrific nightmares that are plaguing your town. <laughs> How? Thinking about whether or not that... Ha who discussed that in front of nightmares? Do I know? <laughs> you you talk, the little were... the mother and the goblin child mentioned it. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay. I'm just making yeah. sure because it was gonna be really funny to just be like, oh, now I do. <laughs> I mean, you did roll um, very low on insight. That is true. I, I I was too busy watching you eat shit on the side. <laughs> it wasn't just me; it was also Dave. That's valid. <laughs> we eat shit together. Oh, Dave oh, can pass their objects. They just like. Materialize for a split second just so we can follow you. Oh, he's but, been yeah. here the whole time. No, no, yeah. well, like, I thought he could phase through stuff, but he just, like, materialized as a physical object and just, totally, just to hit to. He's just a normal person, man. He's just Dave. No normal person can go through the face of walls, obviously, because Dave is normal. Also, he thought. <laughs> I don't think he can phase through things. No, he, right? he can't phase through things, Andy. Like, yes, I, thought people, was, I thought it was incorporeal, sorry. No, it, it, there's nothing in the description that says it's incorporeal, and I ruled it that it has to have a physical form just because it can, like, you know, attack, yeah. hurt and attack. Sorry. Yeah. And it's carrying clothes, so it has to have some. F Basically, the way I'm ruled, the, how the thing works, it's ca it, it's a more powerful version of the Invisible Servant stats, right? <laughs> yeah. Or it, it's still very Dave much as physical. Is Dave is sane and normal. Please let him into your house and let him tell you stories about his people and his eldritch language. Yeah. His people. <laughs> well, then, Mr. Jer uh, what's your good name, good sir? Uh, uh, Jericho Hall. Jericho Hall! Fancy name for a fancy fella! <laughs> He's just red. <laughs> well, Jericho, <laughs> I guarantee you with one of these, and he takes his can and he swings up the, uh... Swings up the chain and swirls it around with one of these, my friend. He just starts swirling the chain around on his cane over and over. I guarantee you, you will never have to worry about having a bad night's sleep again. All you need to do is he flicks it up, he flicks it up, and it just uh, lands onto over top of your uh, collar, Jericho. He practiced this. I, Jericho, will look over at both the potion as well as the little dream amulet thing and he he wants he wants one each 
Very good, sir! Uh, nope, 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 <laughs> nope. Micah's gonna reel him back by the collar. Uh, Kenny Mike... was also looking like she was just about to ask for one. Ready to <laughs> get her by the collar, too! You, miss, you look like you're interested in one of these magnificent items! And looks at Canyon. <laughs> yeah, and I think my, uh, friend would, too, when she points at Dave. Ah, oh, fantastic! And he, like, ends up flicking two more, and they both just magically land over your, uh... He flicks one, and it goes over your head, and he starts swirling another and flicks it around, and it lands on top of, uh... Dave's head. Do you have anything for paleness? Oh, you're looking for paleness? Is your friend sick, ma'am? Because I guarantee you these potions here will solve any sort of sickness. <laughs> I think so. Oh, I'm sure this will happen, and he, like pops his thing down and like what happens is like as he bashes the thing a potion pops up and just kind of flies over and lands right in front of you <laughs> nice she'll pick it up she'll hand it to dave <laughs> dave just holds it <laughs> I here cool sorry god okay, i guarantee you that will clear up any problem you have ma'am there goes like he, he's he's like not fighting <laughs> Micah, but he, he's like clearly resisting. It's just like uh, come excited on. dog. No, it's just like come on, Micah. I was thinking, you know, it would be probably really nice if I were to go ahead and uh, give uh, Juniper perhaps a you know one of the medallions for the sake of you know so she can actually get some sleep and things of that sort. Oh, that's so sweet. Wait, doesn't she? I thought she was always asleep, though. Know? Majority time asleep, but sometimes she's awake. I know, oh, but she was asleep, apparently. No, no, she did wake up from the nightmare. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's what okay. I figured. Uh, Juniper, you don't need one of these things, do you? Juniper looks like she kind of wants one, but she's also, like, not wanting one. Actually, Juniper? He's giving uh, into peer pressure from going to land. Roll me a perception check. Perception. Just whispering to Jericho, does she have nightmares a lot? Stuart, you look at what he's what selling I've and noticed, but you sound like you can necessarily no. tell. As you look Juniper at the at, at the change that he's got, you realize something very odd about them. They're in a very similar shape to your spellcasting focus. The, uh, uh, like the fucking what you call it? Her dream catcher. <laughs> What's the name for it again? Um. Oh, it was cool. Dream mobile. Dinner, I think? It was a mobile. It says Dream Sphere, Dream Catcher. I thought it was a mobile. Well, it's like mobile looking. Uh, yeah, but she defines it as a Dream Catcher, so they look similar to her Dream Catchers. Do you mind if we take the time to perhaps inspect one of these things? Of course, my good ma'am! Anyone who's but this mama is not against exploring his items, feel free to take a peek at it! Uh, Jericho? Do you have identifier, right? Yes, I do. Why? Um, could, could you identify this one, please? I kind of only have, like, this one pearl, I, I, I don't think I want to oh, doesn't place it, it on it doesn't, It's not consumed, I don't think, is it? No, it's not. It's not. It Jericho consume. blinks and then squints, and then he nods slowly as he remembered. Mm, sure, I suppose I could do it, if that would give you some sort of, uh... I don't know, Solus? I I'm just... I'm a little mistrusting. So... We are checking if it's fake. Do you so... think someone would lie about that? Oh, certainly. And we'll look at the uh, snake, snake man. man. <sighs> do you have any I proof know. of... Hmm? I'm sure to say people have lied for less. 
and gestures towards Gwendolyn's way because exactly. Oh no! Jericho internally, I was just like, you really think somebody would do that? And go on a podium and just tell lies? <laughs> Told lies? No way. Oh, uh, my sweet summer child. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, looking at the snake, just uh, asking him real quick. Uh, what proof do you have, considering you are advertising that it is guaranteed? And what happens if it is misadvertised? Oh, you want proof, ma'am? I'll give you proof. Obviously, you're... C- c- you're obviously keen eye observers on fortune and families. Feel free, my friend. I suppose with that, you're one of them powerful magician types, he says to you, Jericho. A handsome man like you. Obviously an intelligent man. Very capable of the magical mites. <laughs> intelligent. He's getting rizzed to fill. <laughs> Obviously, someone like you could obviously identify such wonderful craftsmanship and gear, and he pats you on the shoulder with that kind of like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? That, that uh, jovial pat on the shoulder, like you are a man who knows quality and uh, magnificence. <laughs> Jericho's mouth is agape at this point, and this time he he pulls Micah closer, and he's he, he whispers like <laughs> furiously at <laughs> at Micah, and it's just like what. What would you have me do? Go ahead and uh, do this whole magic shindig right in front of his entire setup. That's embarrassing. (laughs) I would have you do it because one, he is openly asking for it as he is advertising to the town. Two, I'm not going to see you waste your money on something that could be fake. By the way, Micah, roll me a perception check real quick. And it's only a gold and a silver. Come on. Canyon's already reaching into her purse. I love He gives a look at Canyon. This is the resource management game. (laughs) Actually, yeah, Gwendolyn, you too. Gwendolyn and Micah both roll me perception checks. Once Juniper notices the similarity with the necklaces and her thing, she's going to buy one. Okay. Oh, thank you, Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn, you hear something out of, like, you hear an ethereal voice just go, Lay it on a bit, think, aren't you, boss? <laughs> and you, you don't see nothing, though. You just hear a voice. Oh. <laughs> uh, love this for us. Jericho <laughs> is do I, going to try to hear, too. Do I hear where it comes from? Uh, it seems to be around Bittis Mamba. Like the, the shop? Yeah. Uh... Do you have anyone else in your shop there? No, I don't know what you mean, sir. But this Mamba has to take care of his own business. But uh, why are you asking me that? Yeah, well, I heard a voice say, laying it on a thick bear boss, so... He just starts tennis up. Sir, ma'am, 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 you need one of my potion hearing voices in your head. That's a sign of no. sickness if I ever heard it. <laughs> I think you're deflecting. Perhaps, but any case, Mr. Uh, Jericho, you said you wanted to identify my wonderful item. Well, go right ahead, sir. Feel free to cast that spell. <laughs> all right, all right. I suppose I'll do it. I'm going to turn around. Uh, while that's all happening, I'm going to go over to Hemlock. Hemlock's going to be like... I'm gonna hide Hemlock from view, and I'm, then I'm gonna cast Invisibility on Hemlock, and Hemlock's gonna go look inside. Okay. Uh, feel free to roll Hemlock stealth check while you do it. Jericho's gonna but do. Obviously, a little... he's he's an, I want. It's not for him to be like. It's just to make sure he doesn't bump into something in there and give himself away. Yeah. Oh, Jericho's gonna fine. do a little razzle dazzle of the fingers, and he reaches out for the pearl. Um, kind of clenches his fist around it, and then proceeds to kind of f- flick his fingers over at one of the potions. And it just kind of makes this weird zap noise. He looks back at his hand, and then realizes... Ah, uh, so about that an identification spell, I don't think I exactly have that with me right now. Hmm. <laughs> Funny me. <laughs> No, cards have all their spells prepared, don't they? Yeah, no, well, no, he, no, he didn't. He's doing the one 
one, one main... switch out per long rest I'm yes. letting him have. So he switched uh, it out and forgot to switch it back in. <laughs> also, bards literally don't have them all. Like, yeah, th this is this is spells known type shit. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. Sorry, hold on. Oh, are you guys having a nuclear strike against you or something? Yes. Yeah. Third time this week. Oh, damn. Otherwise, that happen. I mean, I had that happen. To, uh, I had an Amber Alert while I was driving my car, and I had my phone hooked up to my uh, audio unit, and I was blasting music. And that alarm oh. just made me nearly car cra get into a car crash because I was so loud. Uh, it's so it fucking scary. Oh. Apparently, a senior citizen has gone missing. Someone has gotten out from a nursing home. Whose grandma escaped? <laughs> Whose grandma escaped? Ninja grandma. Ah, uh, damn. I, damn, I knew I should have locked the door before I left uh, the retirement home. <laughs> exactly. We got a school-wide email from a student about an escaped gra uh, Eldritch grandma. Yesterday. Eldritch, Eldritch grandma. grandma. There you go, Andrew. Eldritch Eldritch grandma. There's the fear coming right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there she is. She's helping other sisters of her coven escape. <laughs> They're trying to summon the one of the elder gods. So inconsequent. I mean. Uh, anyways, back to the game. Uh, <laughs> Bitches Mamba looks over. Oh, my dear friend, I see you forgot your thing. Well, that's okay. He taps his can again. Don't worry, you can use one of these. And he hands you what looks to be a uh, magnifying glass. Jericho will gasp, and he just looks at his friends, and he's just like, This man thinks of everything. <laughs> Micah's gonna also look over at the group, um, definitely checking Gwendolyn to see if she, like, has any signs of other, like, suspicions, and then just how the others are doing. We know that Canyon is about to buy something as well. Uh, so we're looking okay? Don't worry. Hemlock, uh, feel free to roll me a perception check, though, to see if you can find anything. Is it dark in there? Yeah, if you're going, like, in the cart, it would be dark. Okay. Let's go! Nope, you Let's don't go. see a thing! Wait, what? I have advantage. No, <laughs> this isn't a sight problem. There's nothing there to see. That was a hearing thing. <laughs> Uh, he also has advantage on hearing. Does he? Yeah. But that was just keen sight. It's keen hearing and sight. No, oh, fair enough. Weird. Uh, as you kind of oh, look, it's, isn't 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 his base an owl? Because that makes sense. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, you don't actually hear anything in the cart, but you do kind of hear a mutter coming from above the cart, but you don't see anything. Uh, like on the yeah on the roof of the cart. Hemlock will fly up and look at the roof of the cart. You see nothing. You realize there are other things that can go invisible. <laughs> I figured. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, I don't know if we have. Do we just use like one of his divine senses to see if he smells anything? Uh, I mean, Uvac Hemlock's is unaware of this. <laughs> Hemlock's gonna fly uh, around into. It's gonna. He's gonna fly into the what he hears. Uh, the muttering didn't last long enough to get that good an echolocation. It's okay. not a constant well, then, then mutter. He's, <laughs> then he's just gonna sweep the area like a fucking. You know how you bump into things, <laughs> and you're just gonna fly around and sweep around. Yeah, you, you, you're window. gonna try. It's you, you're not gonna find anything. I'm just saying that way. <laughs> like okay. you're not you, the thing you're looking for. You're not gonna pump into like that. <laughs> and you'll find out why in a minute. Don't worry. Uh, anyways, as Bittus Mamba continues going on, um, Bittus Mamba looks over at all of you. And goes, well, good sir. Use that, and you'll be able to identify the item. No worries. Jericho is looking at it real hard, and he looks up with a little smugness in his eye. This is a potion. <laughs> he can tell by the way it bubbles. There you go, ladies and gentlemen! The sun by a keen eye and observer of nature! <laughs> well, I actually... There I go. Mm. 
<laughs> uh, may I take a look at it since I actually work with potions? Oh, of course, ma'am. Here you go. Uh, and he had another one. So incredibly resourceful. <laughs> Alchemist supplies. Sure, Alchemist surprise intelligence. That's just a. That would be a nature check. With how that would work. Well, I mean, the potion looks legit. You don't know what it is. Mm. Uh, it seems legitimate. I'm not quite sure what it is. But I will not believe it. I see it. Well, if you have any doubts, uh, I was just about to give this one to Dave. Maybe. Maybe. Haven't tried before, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Jericho would still like to buy his own potion and Dreamcatch thingy. One gold, one silver. <laughs> Fuck <God>. yeah. <laughs> uh, Canyon's buying whatever he threw onto her and Dave. One gold, we're one silver. Up, two gold, two silver. We're making up us <laughs> over the fucking smallest scam. <gasps> I thought this was gonna be fucking... 50 gold or some shit like that. He did say oh, gold and silver what? at the beginning, yeah, man! Said. They did? Oh, I'm fucking dumb. <laughs> Never mind. Still. In, in this case, like, my guy just doesn't like the act, so, like, it doesn't matter how much it costs in their head right now. It, it's, it's too shifty. Uh, hey, you're running my scam, how dare you? <laughs> Mikey, can't, Mikey just can't let them win. <laughs> I. <laughs> I mean, if if you if you um, if you allow them to continue doing their thing, they're just more rivals for you. So. God. And like I said, the only thing that's happening right now is that if we do have these objects, we at least we have something to reference in case we do need to look at it, like more. Also, uh, Jericho would like to sneak the man an extra gold for good company. <laughs> Uh, sounds good. As you guys continue, Biz Mobba goes, So, tell me, friend, what brings you here to this lovely area? Oh, well, we're sort of just pulling through, um, seeing as though there seems to be a sort of problem around the entire, uh, sort of part of town. By the way, at this point, people have lined up and he starts selling off his gear. For the quickness sake, afterwards, everyone in the town square thinks that Jericho has now bought a potion and an item. <laughs> What should I call these in my inventory? Uh, <laughs> called a dream catcher and a... Snake oil. Snake oil, yeah, that's fair. Just call it snake oil and a dream catcher. Call it snow oil. <laughs> it's snow oil. <laughs> well, I got two amulets. One for me and one for Dave. So. Well, you're here to also investigate the strange temple that's kept here, have you? Need a need. Well, you must be a grand adventure of sort. He's laying it on deck. He's laying it on deck. <laughs> <laughs> and it's working. <laughs> oh, I, I, I wouldn't say exactly a grand or anything of that sort, but you know, I'm I'm, I'm a bit concerned, uh, a bit of a concerned bystander, and well, I'd like to fix that last part anyhow, and see what I can do about this whole situation alongside my friend. Boss, are you actually going to have these people come with? You're not going to try to get come with these people, are you? Come on now, friend, be careful! You, you see nothing, Jericho, but you heard that clearly. <laughs> Jericho <laughs> blinks twice and pretends it didn't happen. <laughs> Does Kenyon hear this too or not? Everybody heard it. Like, everybody, oh. like, basically right now, just because I can't remove the pictures, everybody's <laughs> gone, it's just you, you guys and him right now. <laughs> Dave, was that you? Would you like to introduce your friend there? Uh, I think, boss, are you seriously? Oh, don't worry, friend. Show's over. You don't have to worry about keeping yourself in. Okay, boss. <sighs> and all of a sudden, a little pixie appears. Boop, just pops in on top of his shoulder. I, I love the gruff-voiced pixie. <laughs> oh, no. And what you see is a very fat, overweight, bald pixie in a pink dress and has a stogie. 
Oh my god. <laughs> As, uh... Uh, there he is. Like, as you see, this wonderful man. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I love him. You know, he's living his best life. It's okay. <laughs> it's self expression. <laughs> A trendsetter, honestly. Looks over to you. <laughs> Hello, my name's Fran. <laughs> Fran? Fran, yep. F R A N. <laughs> Is that short for something? Like, uh, uh, Francesca? Francesco? Francine! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, I like it. Dear Francine, would you mind telling us why you were hiding if you are part of this establishment? Kettle looks over. You think he's good enough for that damn king to throw things around people's necks? In other words, all that shit he done was Fran flying it over and placing it on people. <laughs> uh, Micah just nods. Okay. Soka. <laughs> well, you're here to investigate. Where were you commissioned by anybody? No, but his Mamba doesn't have commissions. He goes for the Derek Adventure! You've heard this word of mouth and came here to sell potions. Indeed, I heard there was issues with this strange temple. Then I heard they were having issues with these sicknesses and nightmares. And I realized, Bitters, my old man, you have just what you need to help these people from your latest treasure hunts of daring adventures. How long ago did you hear this? Oh, I mean, I heard about the temple about a week ago, but I just came in a couple of days ago when people told me about the sicknesses and such. How many days ago did the little boy see robed person? About the same time frame. Okay. Uh-huh. No one else was with you, just you and your friend here? Name's Fran. <laughs> Fran. Pardon me. Yeah. Just like it gives one gives a friend like one of those smiles that is clearly not a smile, but uh, Daenerys Targaryen customer smile. service. Yeah. As you do <laughs> that, Micah, he looks over at you and just he just starts puffing out like smoke rings. <laughs> <laughs> looks away from Fran. <laughs> Micah. Is ready to have a headache. <laughs> <laughs> just having like there's just like a little tr um, streak of blood coming out of their nose. Sorry, I'm just having a small aneurysm here. Give me a second. <laughs> I told you I like this character. <laughs> <laughs> Lord. Okay. Um. I'm gonna keep that in mind. Did uh, did we get to see where the the woman with the the kid went? Oh, uh, they left the town square back to their homes, you gather, after they bought their potion and amulet. Do you see which direction they went? Uh, yeah, probably south. South, okay. Time to kidnap the child. Time to kidnap child. It's our child now. For, for no reason but to hold and protect forever. Can I try to make Dave drink the potion? Sure. <laughs> Do you? All right. Yes. So as Dave it drinks the days. potion, uh, the potion just like accumulates on the bottom as he has no stomach or anything, so it just goes straight through him. <laughs> Does it go through? Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> funny. Jericho takes... will pat Kenyon on the shoulder. <laughs> it's fine. You just have to find some sort of other cure. I guess. My word, that is the oddest thing I think I've ever seen. <laughs> How very rude. That's all. He's friend. sensitive. Don't tell him that. He's a gentle soul. Yeah, soul might be right. That's not a ghost, is it? <laughs> no, what are you talking about? Oh, and practically not. It's Dave. He's completely normal. Fran looks up. Fran, you know, Fran just flies over and looks him straight in the eye. That ain't fucking normal. <laughs> <laughs> I, Wait, look, see what we're doing. We're just kind of scratched the chin, but I mean, ever since we got to Island, nothing's been normal, so. I mean, 
I mean, I, I, don't know. I bought the potion from you to try to cure him, but it uh, didn't work, so still working on it. Fran flies back. <laughs> Looks over at you, Ubeg, is like, what do you mean nothing normal's around here? Everything's normal around here. I know abnormal when I see it. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, no nothing no unnormal here. Yeah, you better be right. He flies mm -hmm. back the fittest mamba, puts back on his shoulder. Dergo leans. Oh. Sorry, go. No, that's all right. You first. Dergo leans to some indistinct point and kind of, not whispers, but sort of whispers. Is just like, is that a ghost? And then it takes him a few seconds, and he just kind of like slumps, disappointed at seemingly not getting a response. Buddy. Uh, well, tell me, friends, are you all planning to go to that temple? Uh, yeah, we got a site to, you know, investigate it, make sure what was the deal with it. Uh, I'll tell you what, friends, since you are such good helps and sports helping me sell the people, the good people of the village, the potions and items and amulets, I, the Great British Mamba, will accompany you! Oh, I mean, are are you sure? Uh, I would hate to have somebody as distinguished as yourself trapped in a business with us of sorts. Oh, you're too kind, my handsome friend. No, don't worry. Bittis Mamba loves the danger and abilities. I seek the thrills. And yeah, boss, that, that and you also could use people in front of you. <laughs> um, can I insight? Does he seem that he just wants a group? in front of him, just so he can reap the spoils. Uh, sure, roll me an insight. Uh, you gather... It's not maybe maybe l l l reap the spoils, but yeah, he, he wouldn't mind having assistance in there, because he has no idea what's in there. <laughs> you know, I'm... Ubek's just like so having like gather, this weird... whether it's it might be less the spoils, but you figure he's the type of guy who will take credit. <laughs> like he'll probably over embellish uh, whatever role he plays. <laughs> just to sell himself up later. Yeah. Okay. Just like thinking to himself, like I don't know why, but I have like this ancestral deja vu. Like I've met someone like this in my past in a different lifetime, and just flashback to uh, Ken and uh, yeah, going on Futar and Ubek's dad just killed <laughs> <laughs> It's like I don't know why. I just I, I, I just feel so there's something familiar about this. Oh <laughs> uh, god. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know if, like the amulets are gonna help out. Are they? Indeed, my friend, I am quite capable. A master of mystic arts myself. Ooh, ooh, what's your favorite spell? Oh, I'm glad you asked, my friend. Dry cleaning! And he does press the digitation and kind of cleans his lapel. <laughs> so, in other words, you're useless in battle. I wouldn't put that. I have daring abilities and skills that are very useful in the combat of states. Of which are. Well, watch this! And he, like, uh, you see that bottle over there? It doesn't take eyes off of him. <laughs> Watching expectantly. He blasts it off. <laughs> With Fireball? Eldritch Blast. Oh, uh, Eldritch Blast? Okay. Oh, okay. I, linked, I, did, I did post it. <laughs> Eldritch Blast. Oh, he's what you're saying. Excellent. Well, maybe. Also, he could also multi-class, took a feat to get it. There's a million ways he could have it. <laughs> no, the pixie is his patron, and he's just he's just <laughs> paying off. <laughs> that is oh, the hilarious the concept. Pixie actually launched it. <laughs> the I like that better. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, you're invading my personal space here, and I do not appreciate it. Can you fuck off? 
And of course, Fran here's a mighty fine shot with a bow! Oh, oh, where's, where is the bow? Oh, one sec, he kind of like rummages in the back and just, what, you, what looked like he sees looks like a straight back, he just kind of like pulls it out from behind his dress. <laughs> from and then he like, ass? dress, Zaku, dress. <laughs> From behind, he does like the, the, yeah. the cartoon thingy. And then he, uh, what you do is he, like, basically he goes up and he, what you thought was just like a long part of his bald head was actually like he plucks it and then he uses it to string the bow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, little baby bow. Little baby man. That's a. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she did say that. <laughs> Okay. He's, I actually said that have Pixie's a sprite, technically, but same diff. <laughs> All fair, Faye. Yeah. He, he, he takes his little shot and he puts his c cigar out and he puffs it up and fires. How come I just have a feeling that this, this fairy would just be, like, played by Danny DeVito or something? It, what a <laughs> sniper shot as it pings off the bottle, but it's... <laughs> Please tell me why there isn't a dice roll and it's just a modifier of one. Because it's a pixie, dude. <laughs> the bow is like the arrow's the size of a toothpick. <laughs> not even fucking pixie magic could make it anything more than a one. I am in so much pain. She did. Kenny did say a baby bow. That yeah. No shit. <laughs> Even Jericho and his nice ass could fucking pick that up. No. <laughs> he didn't want to say anything to be rude. Are we be heading off here then? Indeed, I can take you to the temple. I was just about to go there myself to explore. Nice. Well, follow me, my good companions as we make our way towards the temple adventure awaits <laughs> mike is gonna walk up next to gwendolyn and just moan to her this guy's full of shit <laughs> at this point i don't think he's other than perhaps maybe scamming people out of his so what i each seem too harmful at the moment, but we'll see. At the moment, however, it was around the same time that the boy had claimed there was someone here. Another thing I'm I concerned about is if these potions are in use by many people of the town. On one hand, we will see the next night if it does work. On the other hand, what if they turn into monsters? We don't know. But I was possibly afraid of. Well, we're already walking, so I might as well take a look. Mm. Cursory look. Keep an eye on him, though. She nods. And they can follow along. So, you guys start walking forward, uh, and just a little past the, just, just slightly on the outskirts of town is where he leads you. There, you find this very odd and disturbing looking temple. You see, like, dark, jet black, uh, stone, and strange runic writing all over it. You see two massive stone doors at the front with vast rooms covering the door frame that has been cracked open. Uh, you do uh, do I know? Runes. Uh, oh. Yeah, I was going to say I wanted to look at the room. Uh, what languages do you speak? I speak common English Eng English? Elvish. <laughs> I, I'm, 
<laughs> His himboism is getting to you! I, yeah, and half one. Uh, no, you do you, you do not understand a damn thing, you see. Come on, Heath. <laughs> Runes only being in giant are boring. They're not uh, giant. <laughs> Abyssal Sylvan. Uh, you speak Abyssal and Sylvan? Yeah. Nope, you don't. No, no, never mind. That's wrong. Wrong one. You, uh, you do not recognize it. Uh, Draconic and Primordial? Nope, and nope to the orc, Andy. <laughs> As you guys are, like, scrying over this, Bittis Mamba walks forward and goes, Ah, I see! Hmm, interesting! Fascinating! <laughs> God, this guy! <laughs> Do you know what it says, or are you just exclaiming loudly? Oh, I can very much read it, part of my great abilities! I can read any language under the sun, my lad! I can't remember, does Jericho have Cumbrian languages? Indeed I do, but that okay. shit don't be working on Arcane Sigil. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, as he looks it up, uh, hmm, whoa, hmm, oh my lord, this, this is, this is indeed terrifying. <laughs> it says, Beware those who enter the Tome of Nagash, great avatar of the Lord God Incubulus. Does that in English so I can actually yeah. uh, uh, write it down? <laughs> I said, imagine the entire party just like was silent, like <laughs> as much as we were, because we just don't know what. How do you react to that? <laughs> Jericho was nodding and taking notes. <laughs> oh, okay. So, so what he said was, "This is the tomb. Beware those who enter the tomb of Nagash." Nagash, the oh. avatar of Incabolus. Does that mean anything to our characters? Roll me uh, religion checks. I will happily do so. Can I argue a history check? Mm, yeah, you can, but it'll be a higher DC. Mm, oh, wow. I totally got this. See, I totally got this. Hey, it would be worse. It could be worse. Could be worse. Hold on, Uvex just rubbing his brain cells together. He's thinking <laughs> there's steam coming out of his ears. He's doing the big funk. Okay, <laughs> Uvex, you actually do get enough for partial info. Nice. You have <laughs> no fucking clue who the hell this person is, for starters. Like, no idea who the hell Nagash is. Incubus, though, you've heard of, and you almost shit your pants. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> because I don't know who that is. Hmm? Incubus <laughs> is one of the most terrifying gods in the lands. He is the god um, of plague and death. <laughs> uh, can you spell out the name? I just I I want to write down a note for that. I'll post it in general here. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Sorry. Oh, okay, okay. Um, Ubek just kind of just looks at the rest of the party and says, uh, Well, uh, hate to, uh, wait, I thought, yeah, hmm. Ubek just kind of um, scratches his chin and is like, Huh, that's not a name I've heard in a long time. Not exactly... Hmm. Just things for a moment. Yeah, uh, from what I'm able to remember, at least in the storybooks that I had. Uh, yeah, this one is, uh, one of the gods at least they've written down here. Is not exactly well known for being a patron well liked. In the domain he inhabits. 
I should also say, too, he's also the god of nightmares. Ah, what? lovely. As well as droughts and disasters. He's a very yeah, multi-fault-faceted god. <laughs> yeah, that probably explains a lot, to be honest. Yeah, His god has so negative cool. street cred. <laughs> he's so, also one yeah. that is very much feared by many. <laughs> Uh, remind me again, so Unity generally praises the twins or something, was it? Yeah, they, they worship the twins. Okay, um, since people know about this god, is it possible that, like, there are other, like, gods, demigods, or whatever that people will also worship aside from the twins? Like, is that normal? In fact, no other gods are have been known to be on this land but the twins that's kind of what part of how what unity was formed was all the gods apart from the twins couldn't even come here like they, okay. they have no power here they, they had no power here oh okay. that's because oh. uh mike uh, <laughs> will just kind of mutter uh under the breath if this is, god is here we're the twins also okay i know this is a bit metagamey uh heath but isn't uh that got also Greyhawk. I I was actually looking to join a Greyhawk setting and yeah, he's one of the minor antagonists. He is a Greyhawk as well. He kind of passes over. Okay, I do, I do know that a lot of the gods in D&D actually do kind of repeat in different setting campaigns. So I just thought I'd yeah, make sure. He, he's both from what I saw because he was... I, uh, he's he, I believe he's in both. Yeah. Okay. Some of them do cross over, right? Yeah, uh, actually, uh, Bahamut is probably one of the most famous that transfers to pretty much every setting. Exactly, right? You know? Like, there are a lot that cross over to multiples. Yeah, so, okay. So, what does any of this mean? Uh, it means that, uh, we got a also, god's if you can look a temple at your... that landed in the middle of a city. Uh, the people started having nightmares, and the temple is dedicated to one of the god. One of the gods dedicated to this temple is the god of nightmares, droughts, plot. Uh, was Jericho goodness. asking? What? I was Jericho asking. Yeah, and that I know. Oh, okay. You just weren't using the character voice, so I got confuzzled. Ah, uh, sorry. No, no. That I was trying to do the voice, but my voice got mixed in. Sorry. It'd be like that. Yeah. Move back camp. I... Oh, great. Yeah. So, yeah, I feel like we're gonna have a great time here. Well. Eh, I think we'll be able to handle it. Hopefully. Uh, I mean, disease doesn't sound exactly like a fun time to really get around in. I heard that they're uh, on the mainland. They're having this weird uh, bat flu going around. It's making you real sick. Hmm. So be careful of that. In other words, we are not singing an inn in this town. Yeah. Well, we have to figure out what's going on, right? We have to try, at the very least. I mean, these people haven't had doesn't look like they had any sleep for days. I can only imagine how troublesome that might be. Yeah, Uve, as Uvek's like baggy eyes are just <laughs> his exhaustion. Yeah. It's great. No, he uh Uvek's not uh waiting for to go back to sleep anytime soon, no, totally not. Uh... Anyway, onwards. Anyways, awesome. onwards and upwards. Okay, so you guys are going to enter the temple with Vitus Mamba? Yeah, we're uh, going to let Vitus Mamba walk in first. Before Jericho does that, uh, he's going to feel that energy pool uh, on his face. He wipes that lightish blue tear. And it's time to roll the wheel! Ooh. The wheel of misfortune. No! Apparently. Oh no! Is yes! Kitty! <laughs> Not the <Yeah>. kitty! <laughs> Jericho just, he feels the presence, and for a moment his 
near permanent smile kind of shifts a little bit. <laughs> and then the he's just the like <laughs> precisely. He's just uh, you know, let's uh, let's let's try that again. Let's let's try that again. Uh, and proceeds to go ahead and try it again. Oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, Jericho just sighs to himself. Nobody really understands what's happening other than like the smallest little bits of, um, I guess for the sake of description for Lion, uh, basically what you see uh, before Jericho is kind of like the air and area around him darkens. Uh, just a tiniest slight bit, almost like uh, the type of sun that you would see passing through a thin cloud. Um, and a light blue tear streams from his face that, once it dissolves into a surface, uh, kind of strikes his visage with a shadow that p depicts certain things. Previously, what you had seen was literally just a pair of cat ears uh, that slowly disappear. <laughs> Um, it was an anime cat boy. He's a Pretty cat much. boy! <laughs> we'll roll with that, sure. Um, <laughs> before the visage immediately disappears and nothing else seems to happen after that. Um, but in this time, you see something a bit more grand. You, you see a cape, you see a sword um, held inside of the hand, as well as on a hip. Um, just somebody a bit more built and seeming a bit more, I don't know, uh, more poised in stature than Jericho typically is. Um, before Oquis, I the, the, the words. Before that itself disappears, and Jericho just sighs. <laughs> Relief. Raises eyebrow. Jericho sees that Kenyon is looking at him, and he smiles and waves. She's scribbling something in her notebook. That's valid. Onward, friends, to adventure! <laughs> Is it dark nice. inside there? Oh yeah, it's pitch black. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, hold on, and Uberk will just take out a torch. There you go. Oh, so I don't know. Thank you. I don't know, really, honestly, know why I carry these things. I can see in the dark, but you know. Well, the rest of us can't. You do you need both hands to fight? Uh I can draw I have a shield out right now, that's more important, so I can just drop I... the torch when fights start. I mean you could also just hand it to Micah. <laughs> Sounds oh, complicated. Well. <laughs> <Hey, Gwendolyn. laughs> it's okay, I'll I'll I just mean, drop it when the fight starts and, and I'll it, take out my hand. It makes more sense to hand it to the person who actually can't see in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, fine. Uh, yeah, like... Yeah. Kenyon can't we'll, either. We'll let, uh... Micah will let Gwendolyn hold it, because if they need shadowy stuffs... Uh, it's alright, Uvik. Like... <laughs> We're just cooler than them. <laughs> yeah. Me, you, yeah. and Juniper are cooler than them. Yeah, no, we... we we're, we're, like, the type of people that, like... We're just listening to my immortal right now in the dark. Precisely. Exactly. <laughs> Our Harry Potter fanfiction club is going great. Also, okay. what do you mean, Dave? He ca Dave can't even see himself. What do you think? Uh, Come on, then. You know. I know. <laughs> Are you Dave's uh, therapist? Absolutely. Uh, Genasi do get dark vision in the new. Well, we're not playing the new. Yeah, I'm not playing the uh, new version. Oh, okay. So they don't. <laughs> I didn't feel like Ed. looking it up online. I'd rather use my actual handbook. Uh. Uh, and you guys enter the tome of Nagash as you guys enter through the door. Spoopy. Now, yeah, this man. is important. Who bought a uh, locket? Dave Canyon, Jericho, I think. We're gonna yeah. suffer. I, yeah. I, I think Juniper did as well. Yeah, I said. Juniper did, Jericho did, and Canyon did. So Micah and Dave. Oof, and Dave. Well, Dave is an echo. <laughs> <laughs> Gwendolyn, Micah. It's just a figment of our matches. Wait, if we got one for Dave, that means we have an extra. Kind 
that of doesn't not matter. You gotta be but... wearing it. <laughs> uh, okay. Micah, Gwendolyn, and Uvek. As you guys enter the tome, you quickly find yourselves entering into what seems to be a deep slumber out of nowhere. And as you do it, you foresee things that are horrifying and terrifying. And I'm going to take each one of you down to secrets for a second as I describe the horrors you see in your dream. <gasps> Excellent. Oh. You should have believed in the <laughs> snoil, yeah. but you didn't. For once, Juniper is the one who doesn't fall asleep. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm a millennial. I don't believe in anything. I don't fall asleep anyway, but has a pleasant dream. Okay, Andy, starting with you. So, All right. Andy, as you finally come into an area, you f enter the tome, you see this greatness as you come back to your hometown where you Zachy, one at a time. This is meant to be secrets. <laughs> oh, I thought you wanted us. I thought you were no, 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 no. Bad. One at a time. It's so the others don't know what your backstory okay. secrets are. <laughs> Anyways, uh, back to what I was saying. Go back. As you are in your area, you're back at the forge with your, uh, uh, God, it was a dwarf that taught you, correct? Yes. Yes, with the, your dwarven teacher teaching you back with the hammer. Teaching you once again how to forge and metal against back in the good days. But as you start work forming and fighting, he looks over at you with a smile and looks up at you and goes, Oh, you're working that metal fine, Uvak. Just keep working at it. And as you keep working, you look down and you see all of a sudden as you start folding the thing, you see that what you've been working on in the middle are chains. And the chains seem to be latched to your wrist and ankles. And he goes, that's right. You keep working on those chains, Uvek. You have to keep a creature like you imprisoned. A creature like you can't be free. You're a monster, Uvek. And you should never know freedom. Because everyone despises you. That's why your father never was there. That's why your mother left you behind. You're a creature of darkness. You'll never know love or anything. So keep working on them chains. Because you know in your heart you shouldn't be free. <laughs> I could just grab like his rip. I could just like toss the hammer aside. And he's going to try to rip the <laughs> chain out of uh, whatever it's attached to. Unless this is some kind of just loose chain, Uvek is just going to just try to break the chain of sheer force of will. So you grab the chain, try breaking it off, and as you do, the chains start wrapping around you like a snake and constricting you, boa constricting. And you just look over and you see your dwarven master begin to laugh. <laughs> do you think it could break chains like that? You foolish creature of darkness. Evil is around you. And it consumes you, it traps you, and it owns you. And with that, you wake up. <laughs> ah, lovely. See what happens to the rest of you. It's gonna be fun. Oh Dude, boy! Andy got his. Don't share. Don't share. You guys can share after we get all together. Get, get out of the room. The dogs. <laughs> dogs are okay. all over me. <laughs> Uh, well, Bye. Don't, don't share your stories yet. You guys can share a character once I get through everybody. That way you don't have to do it twice for those who are missing. No worries. Uh, I want to do it twice. Next is Gwendolyn. Oh, by the way, does fucking Hemlock also get a dream? I'm going to say no, if only because I don't know Hemlock's backstory to do anything with it. <laughs> That's fine. He doesn't get a party hat. It, it goes on fire, and suddenly he has no more to yeah, wear. Yeah, I got nothing to work with the bird. We'll just say get, get, he's in your dream. Okay. He just dreams that he does not have any uh, bird feed. Anyway, <laughs> join me, you, you, you can join me in secrets now, Storm. <laughs> okay, Storm. As you look about, you feel this dread of shadows look about you as you find yourself surrounded by shadowy figures and things. You're unaware of what they are, but you see forms posting out as they start chanting. And suddenly these screams fill the air as these people start bursting into flames about you. 
as they start to die into ash and strife, you find yourself waking up and looking about. You look about at all the dead you saw when you first awoke into your new life. And you hear a laughing cackle. <laughs> oh, I did it. It's so good. It's so good. You're a monster now, just like me. Isn't that fun? We're going to have so much fun again, sis. I can't wait. You're going to be devastating. <laughs> You're going to kill everyone you love just like me. We'll be sisters again. You'll be fantastic. <laughs> and as you look over, you see Hemlock looking over at your eyes, terrified. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you don't know what occurs to you, but you look up and your hand grabs Hemlock by his throat. And Hemlock starts to panic and freak out, screaming in agony. And suddenly you start squeezing Hemlock. And as you do so, his entire body starts to dissolve in your arms. And you look at it as not just his body dissolving, but you can see his very spirit and soul dissolves with him. As Hemlock no longer becomes a creature, that no longer becomes your fae, or becomes your familiar, bleh, but becomes this agonizing creature of pure pain, suffering, and death as it absorbs into your body and gives you this powerful urge of destruction. And you look about you and you start seeing the new companions you've made, friends along the way, and you start stretching your hand out towards each of them. And then you wake up. Like the Crystal Tower isn't the Crystal Tower like the same as the others, but it, it's woven into the story to still make sense for this world specifically sort of deal. Yeah. Exactly. Zaggy. Oh, You're oh, next. Hi. Yay! Zebra. Let's go! Pain. So, Micah. Pain. As you close your eyes and awaken, you find yourself in this odd room familiar setting as you find yourself back at the guild uh -oh. here you look about and you see what looks to be your grandfather looking at a knife sharpening and he looks over at you and he goes ah there's my little mockingbird I see you've been doing good today did you kill that family I molded you to as he starts hearing my... a shink of the knife sharpening. Ooh. Is this, uh... Does it feel like it was any moment of time, like, during their childhood? Or is this, like, as if it were today? You look about at yourself, and you feel like you're a child again. Probably about the age of 10 or 12. Uh-oh. And you recall, this was your first... Got back from your first mission. Well, your first mission, your grandfather made you murder an entire family. <laughs> Oh, wonderful! <laughs> <laughs> it's a Micah. haunting memory Micah has. Something you've suppressed. <laughs> um, you know, sometimes you get really, uh, really interesting trauma as, you know, a literal child. You just delete it from your brain. Yeah, well, it's, the, it's what happens when you're raised by a literal assassin's guild. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Micah will just stand there, like, just a bit uncharacteristically silent, like a diff the different kind of silence uh but out of just the familiarity will nod that's good micah don't forget you belong to us you're part of the guild now my sweet mockingbird and you sub life belongs to it i expect you to continue your job that blood on your hands that blood is our blood don't forget it. And you look down, your hands are drenched in red, thick, vicarious blood. Oh, and you look boy. down at your feet, and your feet start to pool, blood starts to pool around your feet. And as you mm. look down at that pooling blood, you start seeing faces. The faces Ooh. of all those you've killed start to swamp up and look at you, screaming, agony, blaming you, screaming, why? Why? You see faces of mothers and children, fathers and brothers. All those that you've slaughtered the years for your grandfather. All the death you've caused, all the pain and suffering. 
starts to envelop you as the blood starts to coincide as these figures burst out as blood figures and start to consume your body and start dragging you into the puddle. As you look about, your grandfather looks up at you. As you start to be sunk down, you reach out to scream for his help, and he looks up at you and just goes, ah, What in the da pass get a hold of you, Micah? I thought you were better than that. Maybe you truly were worthless in the end. As you start to feel yourself dragged underneath the blood pool. <laughs> you awake. <laughs> Wonderful! Yay! <laughs> now you betcha wish you weren't bit doubting bitus mama! <laughs> I, I love the fact that they're gonna have to suffer because they didn't like fucking mamba. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's great! Oh my god! So, as Bye. you three all of a sudden wake up, you guys look over at the three who do not have the green catchers, and they are drenched with sweat. Uh, is everyone here? Yeah, yeah, everybody's nice. here. I no, I think Judah. Hey, right Judah? Here. Oh, Judah? Oh, he need, he got us. his ice cream. Oh, okay. Gonna need his ice cream. Ice cream. No, okay, we'll ice cream. cream. We'll give Judah a minute to get back then. I hope you guys enjoyed your little nightmare scenes. Yeah! <laughs> it was awful. And terrible. <laughs> and awful. Uvek is very, a very sad boy now. <laughs> like the saddest boy. Oh no, Uvek, not the saddest boy. I gotta admit, Andy, yours was probably the toughest just because it's like, man, your backstory is so like, I'm not sure where to go with it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. No, that's fine, man. I what? think I came up with something that was a good nightmare for you. Oh, yeah, no, totally. Yeah, I, I feel like I really need to just, like, I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel like I no, I didn't really I, know what I wanted I to do with it. I, I lie. I lie. If I had, I guess actually I did read Canyon's backstory quickly. I could have came up with something for Canyon now. <laughs> uh, I honestly don't even remember what I've put in the actual sheet yet. Well, that would have been an interesting nightmare scene for you if you hadn't bought it. I do love the fact that the three are like, oh, I can't wait to get it, love it, buy it. And the other three are like, I don't trust this motherfucker. <laughs> Maybe they should be more trusting of people. Jesus. Never. No. <laughs> Not the snail. Maybe we, after this, we have to be more distrustful now. I mean, I'll give you a minor spoiler while we're waiting for Judah, but ironically, if you had the Identify spell, you would have identified they actually were working Dreamcatchers, but what he did is he took, like, a powerful item and melted it down and, like, commercialized in little tiny ones that have just, a, just enough of effect to work. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, I guess... Business. That's my business. Oh boy, there's still, still at don't the know door, if, right? I still don't know if our characters would have bought it, though. That's fair. <laughs> I don't know if Gwen Long would have been. It, she probably would have been like, okay, that's fair. <laughs> she, she does, like. Yeah. That there are. Hmm. <laughs> I, hmm. Huh? Well, on the plus side, you got a little hit to your backstory. <laughs> I'm sending you a message. <laughs> and you scream for ice cream, scream for the trauma, and all the <laughs> nightmares. What a lovely day. Phone keeps going off. What do you want? Has the granny been found? Uh, nope. Wireless emergency alerts. What is this now? Oh no, it's it's the same one. Not yet. Wait, actually, do I still have the? Oh no, I I switched out of the Twitter account. Uh. I hope you guys are enjoying today's game, at least. 
Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was enjoying time with all you folks. Your NPCs are an absolute joy. <laughs> Bittus Mamba is, all of them. he's one of my favorite I came up with. I actually, if, <laughs> I'm sure you've noticed that I, I photoshopped that picture. <laughs> yes, and it looks very good. <laughs> I spent hours on that back when I first made Unity. I'm like, oh man, Snake Oil Salesman, Yanti, I know exactly what I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> Love that your brain like latches onto a single piece of foundation and it just blows up into an entire idea. All right, uh, I got a pun. Now, how do I build a character around that? Exactly. <laughs> I mean, you gotta admit, it works. <laughs> As someone who enjoys puns a lot, I approve. I mean, to be yeah. fair, Bittus Mamba's based off an actual, like, um... There's an actual actor from the 1930s I based him off of. Oh. Uh, God, I doubt anybody's ever seen the show Lucky Luke. Nope. No. Yeah, I didn't think so. It's it's. Uh... Hello, sorry, I returned. Oh, there you go. What flavor of ice cream? Wait, shit. Uh, well, I can't tell you after I forget that to have gotten a spoon. <laughs> Also, dude, I just got your response. Yeah, that was the first thing I thought of when you said that. I'm like, yeah, that's... It, it, it's one of my favorite reactionary gifts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of times I had to use that during a campaign is one too many. I am saving. <laughs> I am saving this. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, anyway, so everybody's back. Or, wait, dude, I went to go get a spoon, didn't he? Yes. <laughs> Spoon. Anyways, but yeah, spoon. there's a. I want. Uh, maybe I can find a gif of him. The reason I just picture with um Snidely Whiplash in the place of the Snake Oil Salesman. I don't know why. I think it's the mustache. Because all Snake Oil Salesmen have that mustache. He's a dapper man. You gotta keep that exactly. mustache clean. Yeah, you gotta have your. Uh, must have your facial hair cream or whatever. That makes it all nice and gleaming. But yeah, there's a famous comedian who who kind of had that kind of shtick. His whole thing was he was a drunk salesman. <laughs> and he was a snail oil, snail, 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 snake oil snail salesman. Oil. Yeah. Snail oil, sales oil. Snail oil salesman. Yeah, no, that's the French version. They just sold snails for people to eat. <laughs> I mean, it's to be fair, cool. Lucky Luke was a French cartoon. French Canadian. <laughs> there you go. Hey. But, uh, yeah, I, I based uh, the personality off that guy because he was just this drunken guy who kind of spoke like that, the, the accent I'm using. Oh, God, if this were Tenzing, he also would have been right up, be like, I don't know about this. Oh, well, you know what? Maybe, maybe this will be fine. Buys a thing. Tenzing was a centaur, right? Yeah. Yes. My baby boy, baby. I've Keyword? heard a lot about him. He, 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 he. Uh, let, me, let me see where my dudes are. Can I, can I post some pictures? Uh, yeah, guys. Exactly. What's your Twitter? I want to follow you. Ah! I uh, do you want my Final Fantasy one because that's the one I'm currently most active in. Sure. Twitter.com. What's your Twitter? No, I'm asking for your Isaiah's first. Screams. So that way I, a... I can just quietly oh, stop you. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, amazing. Wow, I never knew you can get to at home.com. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I have like. I do have a Twitter, technically, but, like, I've never posted on it. Yeah, Same goes for Facebook, actually. Sucked. I gambled wrong on which website to make my art account. Which one Was did it... you put it on? Twitter. Ah! Yeah, Twitter... Twitter's been, uh... <laughs> yeah, well, I just uh... want to get an Instagram. 
Yeah, I I haven't been on it. Like I I have like another Tumblr and I have Instagram and stuff, but the idea of having to run multiple accounts is just tiring to me. Yeah. When Twitter looked like it was going to explode, I made a Tumblr, reposted everything, and then proceeded to never touch it again since. Yeah. <laughs> Tumblr's kind of dead. Yeah, I mean, there's hey, some people that came back, it's just not as active anymore. Oh, dude it's is full back. of bots. See, I, I, I'm pretty much primarily either on YouTube or uh, Reddit, and both of them I hate. <laughs> I, just, I, just can't, I just refuse to move. Okay, back to the game, guys. Uh, so, you guys look over and you see the three people that had just had PR uh, private talks. They are drenched in sweat. Are you sick already? Well, I'm sick of this temple right now. Um, Mike uh, doesn't answer, just kind of staring wide out at the floor. Hemlock, like, falls out of the where he's flying. And like hits the ground and then just like scrambles away from Grendel. Uveka is currently Ooh. prying one of the chains that holds his gauntlets to the rest of his armor and he just kind of pries that off. Like, yeah, I'm just gonna take that off for the time being. And Jericho... that looks like he's having a super hot attack. Like, he's having a panic attack. Oh! His, his chest no! is just like pounding. And he's just like flailing around. Jericho is going Terrifying. to scoot to his knees and cradle the small burb. Please hold him gently. He needs it. Okay, what's uh? Well, how's Micah reacting after uh, their trauma? <laughs> yeah, just uh, wide-eyed, staring at the floor, um, just completely stiff. And it do doesn't hear anybody ask the question. And why? Uh, uh, um, oh, go ahead. No, no, no! I don't want to steal from y'all. Scene. No, no, no! Go ahead. Were you doing something with uh, with Hemlock? Yeah, Jericho will just like crouching over and give him scritch in the in the area that he likes so, and he just kind of after picking him up, mostly just avoid him from knocking into other things and hurting himself. Um. But Jericho just kind of turns to the others, it's just kind of gives an uneasy smile. Um, oh, where, where did you guys go? Gwendolyn has pulled out a knife and stabbed it into her arm. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> no, okay, that, that, that takes a point of d4 damage if you're stabbing yourself, man. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Ubek is uh, <laughs> just twiddling with some of the chain of his armor, and he is like debating whether he should just like rip it off him. Uh, like, like he's tugging like on the neck of it a little bit. It's like I need to make sure this is loose by any means unnecessary. That's that's enough. No, it's not. <laughs> And yes, it is. That I don't know what that was, but it was a dream. Yeah, well. No more hurting yourselves or whatever you're doing, and just let's calm down and figure out our next step. After a moment, uh. Micah finally exhales and just runs a hand through their hair. Just <laughs> wow, I thought I got used to this already. <sighs> I'm fine. Rick's gonna just stand up and wipe the sweat from his head, uh, redo, like, the ponytail, uh, that he has, um, his orcish ponytail into a slightly less, uh, into a less messy form of it, just combing it back, is like, 
Not a monster. Not a monster. Not a monster. <laughs> not a monster. Hold my earrings. I gotta be ready. <laughs> Gwendolyn kind of walks over towards you, Jericho. And with the arm that she didn't stab, which was would have been her left arm, um, she holds it out over to Hemlock, and Hemlock looks over for a moment, and with a bit of hesitance, eventually he pops over onto her arm, and she just kind of pulls it closer to her and kind of holds him tight and gives him a hug. Aww. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not going to let that happen to you. I promise. Just kind of hear very like wobbled voice. It, it, it's 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 okay. It's okay. I, I, <sighs> and they just kind of embrace each other for. A while. Is 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 the village idiot still somewhere around here? Fucking snoil. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of his name. But sure. His his name is Snoil now. This is canon. Uh yeah, Bitter's mob is literally standing next to you guys. <laughs> Say, sir, do you? have any more of those uh, a a amulets of sorts? Uh, I suppose back at my cart! <laughs> Is the door still open? Because we just took the first step in. Right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As you look behind you, yeah, good point. It is now closed. Motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> Move back here, shooting like this crack his knuckles, and he is gonna try to push that door <laughs> open. Like a. Uh, Uvac, you start uh, straining and pushing and shoving, and that thing is not going to budge. Uh, of course. Mm, this was unexpected. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of trapped down here. Uh, Dave is going to fly over to Uvac and offer him the amulet that he's wearing. No, it's it's all right. Keep your... Uvek will just brush his hair with his hands, just kind of has kind of like a uh, nervous response. He's like, "No, keep it. I'll be, I'll be fine." You should. Thank you. So I appreciate take it. it. I'm fine. I'll be fine. Uh, if anybody, if anybody should have it, it's either Micah or Wendelin. They're going to be much more of a help here in this dungeon than I am. No telling that. No, it's alright. I... I'm fine with that. No, it's because they... Gwendolyn has much more experience with stuff like this, the arcane, and Micah has been much more... That much better at scouting and dungeon delving and... Uh, much more of an expert in their field. I'm just... I'll be fine. Micah will uh, kind of open and close their fist to kind of relax the tension in their arms. Um, We can always take turns. After all, you are our frontliner. And... Sorry. Yeah, no, that, that's it. Um, can I... Based on my backstory, can I tell if that nightmare was true or not? Does that spark any recollection of anything? <sighs> Roll me! Hmm... Romy, it's just straight intelligence. No. No, it does not, unfortunately. You, you get an inkling. Like, there's something's like... 
the one aspect, uh, the one the, you do have one familiar thing. That laughter seems oddly familiar. Like that is, you get total deja vu from the laughter. But you don't know past that. Just just weird moment of deja vu from that laughter is all you get from it. So you're unaware if it's true or not. But at the same time, you have no idea that it could very well be true. Oh, shoot. Hold on a second. I gotta reactivate the music here. Spoopy music. I forgot to put on the auto loop. <laughs> Jericho looks unconcerned, uh, particularly at Uvek before kind of giving his arm a soft touch before letting his hand fall back to his side. Well, if you're certain, then we ought to keep moving. Yeah, faster we get out of here, the, the better, I think. Uh, could Uvek just give a quick sniff of the area? See if he senses anything. Uh, sure, roll me a uh, perception check. Uh, I'm just using my divine sense. Ah, okay, use your divine sense. Uh, sniff, sniff. You can be sniff, sniff. Any I smell bitch in here. See that he's not behind total cover. <laughs> uh, yeah, Uvek, you look over at Gwendolyn and you start pinging. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, Uvek. we found the Dragon Ball. <laughs> Gwendolyn farted. Oh, my God. Uh,. More importantly, you now know Gwendolyn is... Uh, let me double check. You know the type. Yeah, you know Gwendolyn is undead. <laughs> Fun. <Whoa>. No. <laughs> I feel like that should have been PM'd to me. Instead. Uh, fair. But... Uh, Uvek is going to just look at Gwendolyn. Kind of give him a knowing look. And just shake his head and just... Uh, says I don't really Pardon. smell anything. I don't smell anything. Let's let's just get going. Uh, <laughs> and I inside him. Damn girl, do you shit with that? I ass? mean, yeah, you, you <laughs> can. <laughs> uh, do I should I roll deception? I don't. Are you? I don't think you were trying to deceive him. You kind of looked at him and nodded your head at him, like I think you were trying to indicate you knew. If anybody else wants to insight Uvek, is like, okay, that's weird. Feel free. Because <laughs> Uvek doesn't... Kenny will do it. Yeah, I think Kenny will do it. The king of insight, Jericho Hall. <laughs> Shit, oh, now you can roll deception check, uh, Uvek. Oh, hey, you guys don't notice. Jerek is so and, based. And Gwendolyn doesn't know what that l not even means. <laughs> yeah, Gwendolyn doesn't understand <laughs> Dick, either. Dick, what the fuck? <laughs> Why are you nodding at me? I know what me? you are. I know what you are. I know. Like, <laughs> Uvek's just gonna just like leave a door in Gwendolyn's door. I know what she did last summer. <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you do not see any undead because the ha you have to actually see it for it to work, so... <laughs> Is it? Do you need? Uh, until it says uh, as an action, you can your open awareness. Not behind awareness. total cover. Yeah. It's yeah. Total so cover. total cover means you can't see it, Andy. <laughs> yeah, but they could still be like invisible. Yeah, you gotta sense it invisible, but you don't sense anything invisible. But you don't. Yeah. Or hidden, or. Yeah, there's nothing. Yeah. Well, if it's hidden, it's behind total cover, Andy. Yeah. <laughs> like a blanket is technically total cover. <laughs> Are you saying, Heath, are you seriously going to give me the option, like, next time a fireball's coming away, I can just lift up a blanket over top of myself and no, just Andy, dive beneath? There's a difference between total cover for defenses and total cover for being hidden. Uh, you can I don't know, hide Heath, under a I don't blanket. know. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I, I, I feel like a, this might be a bit of an exploit here. Anyway, I'm just kidding. I'm not actually, I'm yeah, not I actually figured, saying Feel just, free to move forward, guys. <laughs> I'm saying. Okay. Um, Micah is gonna keep a lookout for traps, at least like you know while we're. Uh, yeah. Roll me an investigation check, Micah. Uvek will also keep an eye out for any creatures in, in the way. Uh, Uvek, roll me perception. Not do this. 
Hmm? I cannot currently move Canyon without moving Dave at the same time. I think you selected yeah. both of them at the same time. Oh. So, yeah. like, with the select tool, just draw, like, a square not on your characters. Uh... Also, just as a side oh, note. Oh, uh... Nope. Side note. Sorry. Mine. Uh. As we go forward, Dave is also going to uh, offer the amulet to both Gwendolyn and then to Micah. Do either of you take it? You... <laughs> Hemlock will be like, you should take it. I think it. And she'll kind of be like, no, I, I think I need to know more. I... <sighs> Despite what I saw, I think I... If it happens again, I'd rather let it happen again. So, as you guys enter this room, you see a large open chamber with four, uh, or not four, six unlit uh, fire basins, as well as what looks to be four stone doors. Uh,. Uvek, I'll let you see it with your perception since Micah didn't catch it with their investigation. Uh, <laughs> perception works. Uh, no, just for this case. It's not a trap, you see. It's just writing on the floor. As uh, Uvek, you see writing on the floor that you cannot read, but good old bitter mumba! It's a good thing you took him with you because he literally has the ability. I, I gave him the warlock ability to read any language. <laughs> nice. You be a warlock. Yeah. But this is a strong phrase. <laughs> he took I love how Jericho is absolutely spin with him, but Judah the player is not. <laughs> oh, I fucking <laughs> I'm so annoyed. <laughs> I love him. The duality of a man. Uh, here you This is the relationship I have with my characters. It was the exact opposite problem with Klaus. <laughs> so you uh you see he sees Ruse, he's like, Wow, interesting! This is fascinating. It says right here to continue forward, speak my ma the name of my uh the name my master's one true ally And Uvek will recite Ankabalus. Nothing happens. Uh, Bitty Smaba looks over to you. He says, Master's ally! Not master. Oh. <laughs> oh, I, thought, I, thought he said he I thought he said that was the ally. Yes, it's no, the... no. He's the avatar of Inclubus, right? Like, okay. In other words, like, Iblis gave, the, the, the god gave the, whoever Nagash is, Inclubus gave him power. <laughs> I is see. It's, is it sleep? Uh... So oh, it's Nagash? Anybody want to roll an investigation check? <laughs> sure. Yeah. I will do it because I am amazing at it. No. Not today. Oh well. boy! Well, since everybody else is doing so great. Oh, wow. Well. This better not be another one of those fucking nights where I never roll anything over a 10. <laughs> Uvek! Zaku, roll, me a, roll me a d20. As you look about, as you try to figure out, you gotta start naming random Roll me thing. another one. <laughs> there you okay, go. that's better. Uh, Uvek, <laughs> you start noticing as you look about, you notice those unlit basins? You see runes on them. Just gonna nod, sure. Our dear friends and great companion and totally not asinine uh, <laughs> salesman, fight, uh, fight my ass or whatever his name is. <laughs> just, just say, hey, uh, you got some uh, more words on those space uh, on those lanterns there? You wanna? Now let me see. Oh, not words, my friend. <laughs> letters. Let's hear. Apparently the letters, and I will, uh, I will now make these visible, so I don't have to read them out. He starts reading off letters. Puzzle time. <laughs> Heath, I should state that uh, <laughs> I'm just saying this is. I, I do like. I actually do like the character. I I know the purpose that he's supposed to be in a way that I do enjoy him for that. <laughs> I just I just like making the joke. I know. I man. think the character's great. <laughs> 
I'm, I'm the guy that still likes Konan Fudar. So. <laughs> I also enjoy Konan Fudar. Fudar is amazing. I love that guy so much. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> uh, you guys look at you see that these are the letters corresponding with each uh, flame uh, you said you you, re- you revealed them do I need to be like inside the room more you and should be able to see them I... yeah if they're flames they're not giving off any light yeah they're not unlit you have to light them oh <laughs> Oh, there we go. Thank you, Gwendolyn. Yeah, Gwendolyn's got the torch. (laughs) Let's see. U, E. That's an R. Where did Dave go? Dave, no! I don't know where he went. (laughs) As he vanishes from existence. There he is. Those are L's? L's, yeah. They're just L's. Uh, Is that an R? Yes, that's an R. Oh, there's more up here. Hold on, I'm just gonna. Um, uh, I should also state, Gwendolyn, uh, Storm, when I post that GIF, it was not in response to what Uvik discovered. Oh. It, that's, the, that's just the GIF I just post whenever I that's cast uh, Detect, uh, when I just use the Detect spell. Yeah, fine. Yeah. Hmm. A, what's it called again? An anagram? What? Wait. Oh, there, there are there are six little thingies here. Maybe we're supposed to put torches on the things. Well, how are we supposed to know what they spell? Uh, Someone may make me a religion check. I shall do it because I am amazing at the. <laughs> Can I argue history? No, this one's straight oh, up religion, okay. unfortunately. God damn it. I am amazing Woo! at these. Oh. Okay, so. <laughs> and I'd like to point out that <laughs> you actually have the answer if you look at your notes. <laughs> If you look at the pantheons, Literally? yeah, the, it, it's in, it's under pantheons, guys. I gave you a list of all the gods. <laughs> oh, I didn't know we had those. I don't get paid to think. Wait, yeah, it's wait, in I GM. is for nerds, and I am no cool. nerd. It's under I GM. didn't know this existed. <laughs> I mentioned it to you guys what, but at the beginning. You forgot, is I probably. Uh, but I yes. don't think I heard. You, uh, maybe. Oh, maybe. Yeah, oh, yeah, I literally was in here for that. Wait, we're in the no. Oh, right. Pantheon. <laughs> no, I forgot about the the fucking the thing in the in the tab, the shit and whatnot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's hidden. Yeah, I was looking for it, 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 the puzzle. The, the true puzzle was uh, the true trying puzzle. to figure out the UI of uh, forgery. <laughs> <laughs> That's the true puzzle of this game. One of these gods <laughs> is who you have to spell. Nero. <laughs> yes. Nero. So we light them according in, in that order? Yep. As you do. Well, how do you know? You're... I'm not going to bother lighting them up because you're not going to be in the room long enough for it to matter. The and door to your sauce. left opens up. <sighs> you say that like I'm able to see said door. <laughs> Like well, th- those who have dark vision me. saw it open. <laughs> Do we exactly. hear it open? Following Gwendolyn around. <laughs> I mean, now that you always open up, um, light up the basins, can't you see it now? I'm not going to bother with adding the lights. It's because I got to do a bunch of extra stuff in the game to put the lights on there. And again, you're not going to be Fair. in the room long enough for it to matter. <laughs> <laughs> like, the rooms where the lights will matter, I'll, uh, I'll add them, but... <laughs> There's nothing in this room but that puzzle. Where's just gonna Is Juniper still up out of curiosity? Yeah. By the way, anyone who would like to redo an investigation check to make sure they don't run into anything may do so. Uh, no, fuck that. Uvex is gonna run in and just take everything. Uh, fuck. 
<laughs> I'm great at these. I'm totally, totally gonna be fine. It's great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I've been. Let's see what happens. I'm just rolling on things. I'm not You're good rolling really well. Uvac, is you, okay. Well, you guys can walk through the door. You don't see any traps. Okay. Virgo can't have the best investigation score in the party. I'm can pretty he? sure he does. Everyone not a high end party. Got it. Intelligence okay. for the week. So, Uvac, <laughs> as you're looking about, you see, you, you hear something from the south. It sounds like, from like a south. whistling sound, and you feel like there's. A, like an odd air draft coming from the wall from the south. Like over, like down here. Yeah, at the bottom. Uvex just gonna just slowly walk his way over there. And is there like a hole you can see in the wall, or? Uh, you start feeling around, and you feel like there is actually just like a, uh, like, uh, what's the way? A draft. A, a draft. Yes, thank you. Coming from the bottom of this wall somehow. Uvex gonna just like meekly just like put his hand underneath the giraffe to see if he can like find the entrance or the hole to feel. Yeah, okay, roll me another investigation. Damn. Oh damn, yeah, you discover a little latch. Ooh. Uvex's brain is just like ever since Ooh, Uvex had that nightmare, like he just my fr my friend though. Do not actually take this as fact. A friend told me that if you take acid your once your brain starts working again, um, your brain starts functioning better. I think that's complete um, bullshit. But uh, Uvex just having that kind of moment right now where he had the nightmare and his brain's just going on to. You know where I think that on. comes from, Andy, is that acid was originally a drug designed to try to cure schizophrenia. Mm, fair enough. Like Apparently that was that's what it. the guy tried to invent it for. Uh, anyways, yeah. as you push this button. Ooh. A Ooh. door opens, and inside you see an empty room with a bunch of jars and pots. And amongst them, you see a little pain flute. Oh. Doot, 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 doot. Doot. Yeah, it's just the doot meme from Doom. Doot, doot. <laughs> what condition is it in? Pristine. <gasps> what presence does it have? And it's Hold got the them. symbol of what looks to be little tiny mice and rats on it uh, uh, along the edges. Oh, it's, it's the Pied Piper. It's the Pied oh, Piper it's pipe. The, it's the Pied Piper. Jericho gasps and is like, <gasps> little friends. <laughs> <laughs> Jericho would like to pick up one of the rats. It's no, the, it's, no, a, the, pipe. it's, it's a pipe like that's etched on the pipes. Like it's, it's even it's, better. It's the decoration <laughs> on the pipe, and I mean, all Jericho would like a little rat, but that's besides the point. Um, <laughs> uh, Michael breaks the pan flute. <laughs> hey, Michael. Uh, hmm. You're you're pretty good at uh, investigating for traps, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about that. <laughs> <laughs> I meant for like theming purposes. I deal with people more than dungeons, so I can't say I'm the best at it. Okay, uh, are you good at disarming traps at least? That I, I can do, right? Yeah, I yeah got you have tools these tools. Okay. Alright, well, maybe if we put our brains together, we can see if this thing's trapped or not. Oh. Guys, never say anything funny again. I just entered a minute long coughing fit. Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm sorry. I could also have Dave grab it. Oh, yeah. Is he going to be alright with that? I mean... She looks at him. Yeah. I'm familiar with, um... <clears throat> items of the sort. It's more the, the fact that we're entering an evil god's lair, and... I have a, I have a sad suspicion that, too. There might be booby dropped. Then I can expect it. Easy. Uh, Uvex is gonna just, like, grab Jericho's shoulder and just, like, slowly tuck him away from the room. Alright, Dave, you got this, buddy! I believe in you! <laughs> Go at it, champ! Uh, Canyon is gonna take off his hat and scarf first and put it back into her bag. 
<laughs> now he is just gray. He, he's naked. Yeah, he's he is naked. Uh, okay, and... but how? But 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 we gotta know if he is. How big is he? Not that naked. <laughs> <laughs> he has other gray clothing on. Yeah, it's just a gray spirit. Ah. Uh, he has fine. gray armor on, like a, a typical lizard folk person. I forgot. Okay, this fine. Uh, so it goes down to pick up the pipes. And something seems to make it tough as it goes down and grabs the pipes and tries to lift. It doesn't seem to have much purchase. As it seems to be somewhat stuck. See? Huh. This is exactly why I should look at it. Mm, maybe you need to play it that way. It unlocks it, maybe? And then we'll Gero begins to fight harder. Contested strength check. Let's do it. Go on. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Kenny is gonna shout, I believe in you, uh, Dave! The power of an artist! Yeah, Jericho yeah. yeah. burst into the room! <laughs> it just made me realize that I totally could have used, like, not strength, but it was about sending a message. Bursts into the room as you are overpowered by the bar. Hard <laughs> <laughs> meme, beat take me. Now, before Jericho can actually get himself into some sort of trouble, he is going to inspect the area to make sure that it it, it seems uh, legit. Yep. Uh, roll an investigation. Gwendolyn lights up the sconces. Looks legit. Lit. Okay. Davis it is time to it is time to lift the instrument. They do it it's together. To, to, so you, you lift the instrument. You see what was caught it was that the instrument was actually kind of jammed between a bit of a couple pieces of stone. So just it had like about 10 15 pounds of pressure you had to rip it out of. Jericho has the musical equivalent of the Excalibur. <laughs> and as you pull uh, it out, I... uh, you you feel it kind of in your hands. Nothing seems to happen. No, everything seems to happen. Jericho is enamored by this thing with rats <laughs> inscribed into it. Yep. Unfortunately, you do not have identify, so... <laughs> and uh, Jericho identifies this as a bomb-ass instrument. <laughs> the question is, pretty... do you blow the pipes? <laughs> Jericho will kind of look at it for a moment, and he thinks about it. And he's gonna... He's just gonna quickly hold a small note that I will not do because I do not want to incur more coughs. Does his voice carry at all much in this room? Uh, not Thank crazily. You. Okay, Jericho's gonna give it one little toot. toot. Uh... <laughs> yeah, this is not a tunement. At least I don't think it is. Do, 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 do. Plays the first four keys so. of uh, Megalovania. Oh, no, it is. It is. Is that what <laughs> you <laughs> okay. okay. You give it a little toot. Nothing happens, unfortunately. It makes a toot. What else would you want to happen? You like it. If not for anything else, I mean, the sound quality seems to be perfectly fine, but other than that, it seems perfectly ornate. I like it. I mean, it sounds beautiful, actually. Fantastic, even. Mystical, Fuck even. yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, that being said, I don't know. I feel as though I should probably keep it behind for now. I mean, it's a pretty large object. No, dude, that's not actual size. It's just a pan flute. flute. <laughs> oh. Like, that's just the image that, you know, when I post, they'll drag the image over. That's what you saw. <laughs> like, it's it's palm size. <laughs> Jericho looks around for any skelly ellies or anything that it could have potentially belonged to. You don't see anything about skeletons or nothing. Oh, okay. Just well, then Jericho doesn't feel just bad about easy. taking it. Jericho okay. looks at Dave and uh, gestures. Just, just, well, I mean, technically, you're the one who found it first. Uh, after a moment, Dave just makes a gesturing motion to you for it, and uh, T poses out of the room. 
I mean, to be fair, oh. Uvex the one who found it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you want it, Uvex? Uh, I guess, uh, well, you didn't teach me any instrument yet, so... I can't really play it. Yeah, Dave doesn't really have lungs. He teach you this one. All right. Yeah, sure. I can do that. All right. Uh, did you want to keep on to it, or did you want me to do so? Hey, I think that'd be better suited for you. Hmm. All right. Okay. It's, you can add to your sheet, Judah. Pipes of yes. the sewers. That's mm. awesome. That's a mm. metal as fuck. And you may, it is now in your items, it is now under items, so you will be able to see it. Oh, wait. Items directory, next to your actors and directors. There's a 1d10 chance that when you blow on it, a rat just comes shooting out of it. Yes! <laughs> right out of it. Yeah! <laughs> it's actually You're, you're, you're actually a lot rat. closer than you think. You, have, you get to have one of three charges to summon a swarm of rats. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Oh my, oh, I am the Rat King. <laughs> He's literally the Pied Piper. Pied Piper. <laughs> oh my, I, I'm gonna... I was trying to find a low-powerful magic coffee, item but... that kind of fit with the plague theme. I'm like, rats are plagues, that fits. <laughs> I don't know so what's it love it. Uh, pipes of the Can't Sewers. See. And how the fuck do I add this to my item list? I don't get it. Uh, you'd have to import it. From where? From your, like, for the, for, you remember how you did your level, your, your character, built your character with the three dots? Shop. Well, I did equipment shop, but, uh, how? Uh, the pla oh, the when you did your character, the like, the platonium importer? Oh. The three dots, right? On your, yeah. Yeah, then you go to platonium importer, and then you import item. Yeah, I'll add it to your sheet, don't worry about it. No, that's cool, I'm getting there. I found. He's learning. Oh, he's got it. Okay. You now you'll have to attune to those to to use it, but for the time being, I'll assume you will identify it when yet the next morning. So. I now have an army of rat friends. <laughs> this is the best thing that could have happened to me. I knew Jericho would like it. Also, so I think Jericho might Jericho. be the only one who can use it because you have to yes. be proficient with an instrument to use it. Are you kidding? Jericho would be ecstatic to have any friend. Uh, anyways, you guys may continue. As you I still have a... Train. Oh, oh, sorry. As you still see a door to the north is open. Oh, sorry, Annie. I'm just, I'm just picturing this, like, uh, Hemlock is just, like, flying around to see his wrath that Jericho summons and immediately scoops it up and it's like, ah, free lunch. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Jericho <laughs> devastated. <laughs> It's okay, it's a swarm of rats. There's plenty to go around. And all of them have names that I gave to them. All of them are precious. Well, let's hear them then. Alan, okay, we got Nemo, Artie, we got Nemo. Arthur. <laughs> all of them are uh, Nemo Jr. There we go. That's valid. <laughs> so, so the door to the north is Remy. <laughs> The door to the north is still jarred open. Further up, you see a closed door. Uh, is there just a hallway in between the door up ahead, or...? Yep. Uh, can I investigate for traps? Yep. I will also investigate... Retreat. Just really <laughs> great. Oh, no. I oh, would no. like to attempt... <laughs> Same here, because... I mean, guys, Why to not? be fair, I wow. only let two people do traps because it's got to be the people in the lead, right? Like, uh, <laughs> I, no, that's valid. That's uh, valid. I should probably, like, be in the field. The, the people the leading the lead. have to, like, do the investigations. Otherwise, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Jericho has a wonderful idea, though, because it seems like the only other person who has, like, a relatively okay investigation score is, what, Uvek? No, no Uvik's got a minus not. one. He's just been rolling oh. high. Never mind then. <laughs> I, I was not lucky. reading. The bard actually has the highest investigation check, probably. <laughs> like a poor Zaki. <laughs> I, I You're still the, shaking the from your fear. You're still shaking Micah from your fear. Is, <laughs> Micah has a zero int score. Does that mean that like they're kind of a Zembo then? 
Uh, I mean, a 10 just means average. Yeah, 10 is average. <laughs> Okay, so not a Thembo, but still. Yeah. <laughs> Stop projecting. Anyways, it looks good, so you guys can walk <laughs> forward. Cannon cool. will walk forward, but uh, t t just can't see without the torch. Just like I can. Uh, do, do, do you want me to go forward since I can see in the dark? I just need uh, Gwendolyn to go forward so my tokens won't collide. Oh. You guys could totally just pass the torch to one another. How do you do that? It, it, it's... It, it, it. Uh, it's not too we... easy. Yeah, it, all it, that, um, the canyon needs to make a light switch. My hands are full. I have a shield and a sword. Indeed. Dave should hold it, actually. And apparently nobody... Dave should hold it. I find it hilarious ah. that nobody has a, uh... The cantrip light. I just amazed nobody picked that up. If <laughs> uh, be told, I, I, I didn't think that. I thought. Okay, well, so Micah. Juniper does. Yeah. Jericho didn't think he needed it. That I didn't. And he <laughs> doesn't. Okay, Juniper has no. D Juniper has dancing lights. Which I think I don't do magic. I mean, which, which is uh, different than light, like. Dancing lights is still good is though. No, it? oh, no, it's not bad. I think I mean, it's it just a... gives it's it's on it's concentration though. Yeah, it's a concentration spell's the problem exactly. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna open this door unless anyone has any objections. No nope. only objection. Football time. Let's opens. do it. In there, you see two more uh, basins unlit, and what looks to be two. Stone coffins. Hmm. Uh oh. Fun. I can't oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> well, uh, I Uvex already had a nightmare, and he is ready to. Oh. He's been called. He's been called a monster tonight. I uh, mean, he's ready to uh, fight monsters. How tall is the room? Ten feet. Best standard room height. Okay. My hemlock will be nine feet. <sighs> uh, cool. I'm gonna light up these sconces. They do not yeah. light. Oh. Oh. Well, you, you put the fire in, and for some reason the fire does not take. Understood. <laughs> Flame machine. Maybe the yeah, prestigitation, maybe or something. Maybe it needs to be magical. I do not. Damn. Bit of Smaba tries it. They do not light. Uh. And you can roll an investigation to see if there's something screwy. I yes, will attempt. Try that again. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Jericho and Gwendolyn. You said, look at the basins, and they look like they're like oil basins, but the oil's missing. Ah. Understood. The US we need this is some oil. Soil. <laughs> but at the same time, I'd say with your Jericho, you got a 20. You got actually see that there is some residue of the old oil. And then you look at it closely, like, wait a minute, that's red. <laughs> that's blood. <laughs> Uh oh, spaghetti oh, oil. Yeah, Except somebody must have spilled their spaghetti in there. Oh. Um, so, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but it seems as though these are actually powered or, uh, I guess, fueled by blood? Wendell, you already cut yourself. Can you spare a few drips? No fucking way he just says that. <laughs> no, he doesn't, but you know, it's funny. I, 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 I closed there. my eyes. I was about to say. Slowly <laughs> breathes. 
She literally did cut herself, though, so that's you're, right. No, you're right, and I was thinking it, too, but you didn't have to say it. <laughs> Does she bleed? Hey, that's a good question. I mean, technically not, because... I mean... That's an interesting question. I, we, we never really discussed it. You don't eat or drink so you don't or breathe. Make. <laughs> or sleep. And no or one sleep. noticed she was undead. <laughs> she always passed it off as that she was just... Has, just Let's also explain the whole dietary. I don't enter temples problem. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she always was like, yeah, I'll just eat later. I have my own stuff. Yeah. You guys going to have dinner Probably you, <laughs> you pro your blood would probably be congealed, honestly. Probably. I just want you to know that every night Jericho would have tried to sneak Gwendolyn something, which is hilarious <laughs> if <laughs> she just doesn't eat. <laughs> she just yes. would have fed it to Hemlock. Oh. At least Hemlock gets to eat. Uh. But yes, you, uh, G Gwendolyn, you guys look over Gwendolyn's blood, it's kind of like black and icky and <laughs> doesn't quite flow proper. You I mean, to be fair, it's <laughs> light. Uh, well, well she... to be fair, to be fair, it is dark in here, so we can't really see. Except she's holding a torch. She also right. stabbed it in her, like, feathered arm, so, yeah. like... It's it's probably hard to see that anyways. True, true. Like yeah. like that's how your blood would work. Like you you would know what your blood's like anyway, so you wouldn't have bothered. Yeah. <laughs> I mean Uvik already knows the cow is out of the big so Uvik like detect a dead! Oh! Oh! Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, Uvik, 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 again. I would like to uh is this the no, that's not it. That's on it. Sorry, that is not <laughs> the one I was going for. <laughs> That's a good mistake one, though. <laughs> I was going for, I was going for this one right here. I was going back for this one. Uh, uh, I mean, if there's coffins in here, uh, maybe the bodies in there have some to spare if they're not too old. Um, just in case we're there undead, perhaps we should prepare ourselves. Probably not a bad idea, or... Uh, oh, good idea, let me just... He just goes out to pull out his rapier, and then he's confused when he doesn't fight it there, but it's actually currently in his hand. Good for him. You're doing amazing, sweaty. Huh. I mean, do we oh, would you look at that? light in the room, or...? This is a rather small space to be fighting skeletons if they come out. Among other things. I'm just gonna prepare a chill touch. Go back, we'll have this hammer out. Uh, do you guys want me to lift some of the, the lids off these coffins here? Well, don't we still need some blood for these things? Well, maybe once we're buried in here, we might have some blood. I, don't yeah, I mean, this place just appeared, right? So maybe the bodies also just appeared? I think we need to light up these. Sconces. All right. Well, uh, Uvek will. Anybody got a dagger on him? A dagger? It. On a, like on a coffin? On a coffin. They're stone coffins, Andy. <laughs> no, no, I'm. Uvek's offering to cut. Oh, off cut his Uvek's finger. Oh, he's, yeah, he's, I get you, I get you. Jericho. Oh, okay. Jericho does this really cool flourish with his rapier that just kind of for a moment looks like he did nothing until you find just like the smallest bead of red just leaving your hand all of a sudden. Rex, like, that was actually quite awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm actually gonna What was awesome? Your... So, to activate the cauldrons, you will need to take one point of damage. Alright. Per. we will do so. So, you take two points for each. All right, and two points of damage taken. And as you do, one second, I will actually create a light source this light source this time. Thank you. Bless. Oops. There we go. There. Uh. It's 
Can you just land on top of the one? Uh, on top. You'll of have the, to tell uh, me if you can see coffin. it, guys, because as far as I'm coffin. Did, did I create the light source? <laughs> I can't tell. Uh, it's I. I saw I think one because like there's an extra circle here, but otherwise. Uh... Yeah, one sec. I'll try again. Get, get the other one going. Oops, that's why I don't have the light source on. Do 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 do. Yeah, I'll just fill the room. There you go. Can you see the whole room there now? There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't tell if the light source is working because I can see your guys' stuff because of the dark vision people. <laughs> I'm just I can send screenshots. And, and as vision. you do that... Boop. <laughs> Solved the puzzle. Wow. Ubek so will we're just... not opening these, then. I mean, we can still well, do that if you want. I think... the. Th we should probably deal with whatever is inside unless they wake up and ambush us from behind. Let the dead sleep. I'd say we do this first. Uh, Canyon, uh, you want to help me lift some of these uh, uh, coffin heads? Are they made of stone or are they just wood? They're stone. They're stone coffins. Yeah, maybe it would be best if we both did it. Yeah, sure. All right, we work well. Crack his knuckles, and he's just going to try to find like a little edge, and he's going to just look at Kenny and he says, "Ready when you are." Dave also goes on the other side. Micah's going to start backing up, oh. like towards the the first door. So in case they need cover, that's what they're going to use. Okay, roll me an athletics check. Fifteen. You guys lift and stretch, and it is re these are really heavy. They seem to be sealed. Actually, Uvek does have uh, twice the carrying capacity. That doesn't help with the athletics. Do no. we get it off, or...? Nope. Nope. It seems to be sealed. Like, magically, or just normally? Uh, does anyone have to tech magic? I do. Then you'd have to cast it to see. Uh, limited spell slots, but I will do it for the memes. Wait, 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 wait! Actually, hold on. No! Oh. So as he casts the tech magic, <laughs> uh, you see that there's no! runes light up around the coffins. I just remembered I have a thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited because I didn't think I'd ever actually get to use it for this fucking thing. Jericho is going to cast Knock. Did you just cast Knock? Please do not cast Knock. <laughs> I am not going to cast Knock. <laughs> um, yeah, uh... <laughs> Uh, Chief, I prefer to actually still have my hearing, thanks. Yeah, I realize that having a something emanate the sound of 300 feet inside <laughs> of a somewhat echoey <laughs> chasm chamber thing is not a good idea. Yeah. Goodbye, eardrums. Jericho rings the din <laughs> dinner bell. <laughs> that, is, that, is, that is causing a Pokemon dungeon monster house thing to Jer hear. Jericho just casts knock, we just hear the Left 4 Dead horde sounds just come towards oh. us. Yeah. Yes, Battle uh, music starts. You, you do see there seems to be runes around these coffins. Which knock would disable? Ah! Ooh, Ubek, it also would disable so, our lives. Uh, is anybody oh, able? Is Ubek the only one that's able to see the runes, or you're well, you're the one who casts the tech magic, so yes. Uh, oh, so Ubek the runes is... aren't visible normally. No, they would be invisible runes. Uh, Uvik's gonna just, uh, inspect the runes and he's just gonna look to the others and see that they don't see, and he's like, Anybody got a quill of pen? Uh, yeah, quill is Yeah. is like, he's just gonna ask for, like, he's gonna just only ask for, like, the book and the quill. I'm just gonna write something down and translate it. And Uvek will begin, like, writing this runes that he can see. Is it, it's just, it's just, it's just letters, right? They're or runes, magic things. runes. Yeah, so Ubek is going to just, like, begin transcribing that. It's not as clean as the runes probably on the tomb, but it's a lot more chicken scratch looking. But uh, Ubek job. begins. Yeah. And then he is, like, once he inspects all, like, the runes, he's going to hand it to our, trans our helpful translator and says, 
Uh, you're able to decipher this. Mm, I believe it's a magic spell. <laughs> it it doesn't right. say anything, Andy. It's a spell. <laughs> you see. Well, these things are bound by something. Uh, uh, I have a sus sneaking suspicion that uh, whatever we're going to find in the next room, these things are going to wake up and we're going to have a bit of fun. No idea, but, well, I suppose we should just move on ahead then. Yeah. So, we'll make sure to watch your backs when, uh, continue on. It wants to go forward. British Mamba will move forward! <laughs> <laughs> uh, excellent. I cannot see least... shit. As the torch lady stays in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Stopping. Dying. A leap of faith. God, you gotta love the fact that half the party didn't take our, our non darkness seeing people. So uh, Next time I'm giving Dave a torch. Maybe have dark seeing eyes. I mean, to be fair, Sounds you give like Dave a, a torch, issue. I'm gonna rule it he can't use his attack because he's holding another item. Tell you what. Yeah, he... that's fair. He would drop it if we were fighting. Yeah. But... Heath, Heath, out of curiosity, would you allow me to change my fighting style from defense to blessed fighter so I can get the flight spell? Because <laughs> this is going to be an issue later down the road. A little oh, late, no. Andy. <laughs> I, I just, I just realized uh, <laughs> I have a hooded lantern in my inventory. Good job. Ah, nice. Yeah. Nice. Let's go. This Let's go. Tomb. You see a giant tomb to the north, yes? Ah, it's the big boys. As well as more room. Uh, your your detect magic still up, Uvek? Yes. You do see more writing on the floor. Uh, all right. Uh, Uvek's gonna try to avoid whatever runes those are and say, "All right, everybody, I want you to follow me and not touch any of the runes on the floor that I see." Uh. These runes actually say something. Oh, they do? Yes. Cool. And then, can Uvek translate them? Yeah, they're actually visible to everybody. They, well, these ones weren't invisible, but they're visible more to you because they're glowing. But they're visible runes. Alright, uh, Uvek's just gonna warn everybody. Uh, yeah, these runes are glowing, so don't step on them. These runes say, We are the ones who worship the Great One. You figure this is another letter puzzle as you look again at the six various uh, torches. Yeah, so tired. <laughs> uh, I will, the for letters. the sake of the letters, yeah, I'm getting it to him in a second. I gotta let him appear. As you see, these letters as you look again. G? Yeah. Six? <laughs> I mean, a G it and a six. spells Greta with an I. It's Greta Wait, Thunberg. Wait, where's <laughs> the other one? Is it down Look. here? Hmm? Look, G-R-E-T-A. It's Greta Thunberg, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Environmentalism you. is killing us. I knew it. How I dare know. you! And, and, <laughs> and, they're, and, they're, and, he, and she faces off against her ancient mighty foe. The one simply known as, uh, uh, Andrew, <laughs> Andrew Tate, yes. The Tate. Tate. <laughs> but what's let's the last, see. Hmm. What's the last letter? Because I can't see. I. It. I. I, think. I. Okay. Great tie. What was the, what, what was the word, uh, passage? We are the ones who worship the Great One. Maybe it's just, maybe it's just, no, here's what it is. It's G-R-E-A-T, and then it's, that's actually just a letter, number one. So it's just great one. He was number one. <laughs> uh, so require more blood sacrifice? I mean, it's possible. I mean, one is, uh, I is uh, one in Roman numerals. 
I'm scanning the fuck out of this pantheon list. You have no idea. Same. Yeah. No, exactly, <laughs> exactly Gwen. It's Great. the green one. Well, they do, they do worship the one. Uh, God, religious people are insufferable. <laughs> I heard that. Uh, <laughs> so, for not, this one, do you, you guys have perfect. context clues? <laughs> Who has proficiency with history? I think that's literally me. Wait. Me. I do. Anyone with proficiency Hot. in history? And I'll actually Hot throw girl. Bittis Mamba on there as well. May all roll a history check. Hot girls only. <laughs> you can't sit with us. Juniper, no. Okay. Canyon, your days of study have paid off. Thank fuck. <laughs> as you start thinking of this stuff, you remember there was a tribe that was known in the ancient days that worshipped the the Dark One. And you remember something about a cat. Alright. What's the clue you got? Tiger? Maybe it's T R E A T. Just treat. Cat treat. Ti yeah, tiger would make sense, I guess. A tiger? Tiger. Tiger. E tiger. And she is going to repeat that out loud. Uh, let's see. Pantheon. Pantheon. Mm, I don't see any tag. The Pantheon sheet things. does not list who worships them. <laughs> yeah, because those are gods, guys. Gods don't Immediately closes it. <laughs> well, maybe they should. Maybe they have a praise kink. <laughs> uh... Newspaper, character deaths. Is there... Is there a possibility of us, like, being able to try again if we don't get it right? It's very possible. Really okay. Is that like in Skyrim where you can do, like... You do one and then yeah. it lines like, up, and like, then if you I'm get gonna, it wrong, it just... Here's, I'm not gonna, like, say if you get the puzzle wrong, the, fight, the, the mission's over, right? You're allowed to it's make over. mistakes. <laughs> Campaign's over. Yeah, campaign's over. The temple life. explodes. Everyone dies. Thank you for playing. <laughs> Did no, you no, it's a ragtag. Rag <laughs> it's a kink dungeon, guys. Ragtag. So we have great I as a Roman numeral. Oh, we have a G tier, Gwendolyn tier. Um, let's try Tigra. Tigra or a tiger? I say Tigra. Thunder, thunder, thunder. Could we? Oh. And it would be weird to be we with a tiger. Well, they worship one, right? But it said we are the ones. I thought it was talking about who the people are that are um. worshiping. Guys, I, I, I think we might be able to just try again if the combination doesn't work. Uh, this one will also require blood fa sacrifice. Uh, no, I'm not gonna make you guys lose six HP. I'm not that big a dick. <laughs> I will light up a tiger. You will light uh, up no, a tiger. No, a ti so, sorry, sorry, ti tiger. Sorry. Tiger. Right. So as you start lighting up all the torches. It looks like it works, but as soon as you hit the A, the rooms start grumbling. Uh oh. And lids pop off. Oh god. Uh oh. <laughs> Here it is, boys. How much reaction do we get? None. As, <laughs> like this. None. This occurs. Oh, spaghetti <laughs> Lovely. Uh oh, spaghetti -o. Let's It's do not this. a surprise <laughs> round, so don't worry. You're oh, not getting surprised. I, wait, wait, hold on. I would be at the A, right? Yeah, you would be at the I'm A. The one lining. Okay. Yeah, if you were lining, you'd be at the A. Cool. That I'm goes. just uh, impressed that those ghouls managed to push off the heavy. No, they didn't <laughs> push off. When you hit the A, they popped off. <laughs> oh great. <laughs> That's what I the runes were. Uh, they all had knock. 
Fun fact, you, you, you just about had it. It was a trick. The A was a, was a mislead. Oh. oh, it was just Tygo. Oh. Yep. yep. Dang. We oh, got my losers. bad guys. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> that means we have to fight something, and Uvik's hype for that. But then I whenever it worked before nightmares. Gwendolyn got around to doing that A. Yeah, Technically, though, she open. was lighting it, but because they were still going, the door was uh, like, you didn't hear it, and then the A was lit. Right? That's right. You technically completed the puzzle, right? But so the then you hit the open. A. And yeah, the door is open, but then you hit the A. Mission failed successfully. <laughs> exactly. Mission successfully so failed. Leave. Oh, no, well, I mean, we're in a fight, wait. so. So she basically lit up the R, uh, the doors opened. And no, they didn't open didn't... this time. They unlocked. <laughs> Oh, she can't hear that? No, you didn't. Uh, probably not. <laughs> Is that not. like a... I mean, to be fair, man, passive? it was only like a couple feet away. So, and considering how fast people move, it is a six second difference. Uh. Right? Like, that's it. Like, I'm not saying be like, lit, wait, lit, wait, you are lit, lit. Lit. Like, I'm assuming you weren't Temples. taking massive pauses. Guys, right? guys. <laughs> Temples don't have good processors. It had a buffering time. Okay. Oh, so anyone who's ever had a bad oh. computer understands. We can't trust Tries. the temple now. <laughs> yeah. Not that we should have anyway. In the first place. Alright, should we roll for initiative, Heath? Yeah. Let me just... That out there, there we go. Let me activate the combat. Um, there we go. Trying to remember where you should be. I actually didn't roll shit. That's nice. I'd be rolling crazy on these fucking. My god, why are my rolls so terrible today? Oh, we're getting. We all have those days. Damn, Juniper's just having, like, six turns, apparently. They're ready for anything! Uh, Hemlock goes on my turn. Or Hemlock goes on our initiative button. Where's the button? Um, it's right so... next to the shield thing. Uh, next to that in strength. It's like... It so you... So you... Sh what's right, called? Right-click your token. Okay. Click the sword and shield. Okay. And then go to where all the tabs are, click the uh -huh. fist, and then roll the dice. Um, oh. Case mine rolled twice, it should be an 18. That's what was rolled Thank you. Though. I mean, it doesn't change your positioning, so we won't bother. And the okay. knees. Hmm? What? What if the enemies roll? They already all rolled, but she rolled an 18, well, and there him. was the the next roll was a 19, so it I doesn't change. Him in the in yeah. I don't see him in the initiative. Let's, let's oh, okay. Uh, uh, did Bytus uh, roll weird. too? They're in my initiative. Yeah, it's because the they're probably hidden. Oh, has no, it's the token is hidden or something. They're not. No, no. They're hidden in the initiative. You have to click the I in the initiative to. No, they're not hidden in the initiative. No, it's it's because the combat hasn't started. We'll see them when the Is combat it? starts. Yeah, see, yeah. it's not started. I I I don't know how it works. Okay. There you go. Okay, yeah. never mind. I'm too much of a DM. Okay, in Foundry. <laughs> <laughs> Jericho, yeah, you're up first. After all you did for Foundry, it's okay. Um. Uh, by the way, does um, Hemlock roll in his own initiative, or is it my initiative, I forget? It's usually um, his own. Okay. Yeah, I think a familiar but, is their own. But, I mean, it's also up to just have the I was trying to remember. I like to think that... Oh, this is like the... We're so ready. I like to think once this started popping off and whatnot, um, Jericho kind of like instinctively backs up and he doesn't realize that he's backing up towards this this other creature or whatever <laughs> but his hand kind of almost with a mind of its own just oh, shit, I jousts out oh, hello 
Sorry, just frankly, I forgot to add Bittus to the initiative. Oh yes, thanks. We're gonna need the meat shield. Anyhow, <laughs> uh, yeah, his arm just kind of jousts out behind him, um, and gonna go with that Chlipiel attack. Let's see. Or actually, let me make sure that I'm doing this right. Is this the uh, spirits stab? Yeah, I'm just I'm making sure that it's not an actual attack on top of like all the other stuff, which it seems to be just the attack. It's a melee so, spell attack. Yeah. So let me just. Uh, I should really create something. Oh fuck yeah. it. I need to you could make it a its own little spell probably sometime, but I'll do that later. We're, st we're still lame and only have, like, plus two to proficiency, right? Yep. Yep. Thirteen. That hits. That oh, thank oh, fuck. Dude, they're, they're zombies, man. They, yeah, these things zombies. are so easy to hit. I, a AC is Watch probably me. max 11. <laughs> Watch me. That's the spirit. <laughs> uh, damage. Yep, one second. Let's see. Oh, okay. Well, oh, nice. Wait, well, you take a huge okay. chunk out of this thing as you uh, pierce it with your uh, rapier and just... Oddly enough, you don't get much out of it, but dust seems to pour out of it and seems to be some sort of gas. Uh-oh. Nothing uh, happens, uh, though. Wait. Nothing get... Remember, uh, this is a, like a spell attack. Yeah. Oh. I mean, you still physically hit it. He did okay. damage, correct? Yeah, he did damage. It just when you okay. you just there's no blood. It's like it's yeah. like it's like gas and okay. dust is pouring out of its when, body. When when people typically say that it didn't get out not much from it, that's typically Jesus. flavor spell for resistance. So that's what no, I, I didn't was say that. I just said you didn't get blood, not much. I said blood out of it. Okay. Because there's no blood in these things. <laughs> it. Uh, Fair do enough. we hear shit? Pop off in the other room. Yeah, yeah, pretty much heard it. <laughs> awesome, but yeah, uh, Jericho does this, and uh, he looks around behind himself and lets out the smallest bit of a yelp as uh, he sees that thing, and does does he he doesn't he doesn't like it he doesn't like it one bit. <laughs> um, is he going to risk the? Huh. Uh, actually, I guess I can't really follow that. I, whatever. Uh, if anything, Jericho's then going to go ahead and da, 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 da. I'm stuck on knowing what to do because it's like normally I'd be like, oh, let me position myself elsewhere, but I'm just like threatening a fucking uh, attack of opportunity without actually getting much anywhere. Um. Uh, See. I mean, they are zombies, so they go for the nearest person, probably. Yeah. All right. Um, if anything, I think Jericho's just gonna go ahead and give Uvek a inspiration. Uh, just with the smallest little. When you find the time, if you know you could help, uh, that that would be wonderful. <laughs> Back to this gun turner. Look between him. The zombie attacking Jericho and the giant one pumping out. Oh, I just weighing his options. <laughs> no, he he just he raises his hand, both of his hands. Anytime, just like <laughs> me meagerly jousts at this fucking thing and d does not hit because he's not actually looking at it. He's still looking at Uvek. He was like, honestly, considering that he's like, uh, which one do I pick? Yeah, no. He's fine. <laughs> he's fine. Uh, these both suck for this. But, uh, other than that, though. Oh, yeah, 
yeah, I guess... Oh, no, I already did my bonus for the uh, inspiration. So, yeah, I'm, I'm chill. I'm big chillin'. Hey, Hemlock, Anything. you're up. I'm gonna move closer to Juniper because I'm scared. I'm like, just gonna move over here. Okay. And that is my turn. Of course, it's the one by Jericho next. Uh, Jericho, you see this zombie that you just stabbed? Look at you go, <laughs> and just like claws at you twice. Where's the big guy? Oh, wait. That'll miss. Obviously. Jericho dodges twice. Oh, no. Shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> I mean, Maybe the person not. was in that one. Uh, yeah. What is Jericho's AC? <laughs> uh, my AC is 14. Uh, wait till you hear my HP total. <laughs> I'm thinking. Oh. Is it more than single digit? <laughs> oh yeah, not by much. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you never roll AC. I mean HP there, dude. <laughs> but where's oh, the fun in that? Uh, There's the difference between having fun and being safe, and I'd rather yeah. be safe. I'm gonna use my reaction, and I'm using a uh, familiar bond, which is should be three plus two. Which is five. So that Yo! goes juice down to thirteen and it misses. Three um, plus two. Where's the pl uh plus half your occultist? Adds, yep. D four plus half your occultist level. That already added it didn't or it added a plus one, dude. It added oh uh, fuck. Never mind, it's only a four, so it hits your racing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like it's adding. You roll because I'm like it rolled a two, yeah, not a three. <laughs> no, uh, yeah. I need to change that. I thought I didn't have it in well, the already. Sad. No, it's like, I, I, I was wondering about that. He's like, wait, it's just 4 deep, deep, you rolled a 2. <laughs> Thank Anyways. you for your, for your effort. Hey. Home slice. Jennifer, you're up. Uh. <clears throat> uh, points around, like, you know, so I can attack the guy with Eldritch Blast. The one that's hurting my poor. Okay, oh, you're attacking Jericho. Yep, fire your Eldritch Blast. That'll hit. Ooh, fortunately, four hit though. But you push, take out a little chunk of its side. That's Jericho's my bonus action. Oh. He shiver like a chihuahua. Do these, do these things look like they're gonna explode? I mean, you would yeah. have no way of knowing. Because it's like gas and dust. Because it's, it's combustible. They need some milk. <laughs> they are full of milk. <laughs> full of soup. Have a good time. Uh, this one will take one swing at Juniper and one swing at Jericho. We love equality. <laughs> <laughs> I think that, that is for Juniper. Juniper. Yep. Definitely. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Uvek, you're up. I hate to see oh, my boy. I hate to see their health gets... bar is fun. I hate to see my boy get uh, beat up like that, and Uvek is gonna walk up like a very angry parent to the zombie, grab him by his shoulder, turn him around, and says, and just kind of stares at them very, very not happily. And he will take out his warhammer and he will bonk him on the head. Damn. Wait, I have a D8. Yeah, hit Andy. How I do? Cool. Yeah, these and these are zombies, guys. Not hard to hit. <laughs> uh, zombies, you say? Uh, I've missed mm -hmm. more important enemies for less. You know <laughs> what? Uh. I still have Klaus trauma. Let's, okay. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's, let's, let's add a uh, let's add a three d eight to that because for the red spite. So hey, nineteen points of damage. Big blast hit this thing. Uh, yeah, 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 it is. Well, it's bloody as far as zombie is concerned. Yeah. 
Hit Sandy. Hit Sandy. Yeah. I will knock off a nope. spell slot. Cool. Go ahead. And I'm assuming you're not moving. I don't really have anything else to really get do, so yeah. Wendelin, you're up. Um, I'm gonna try and. Uh, I just realized how annoying it is for Hemlock not to go on my turn because it makes all my touch spells awkward to fucking use. They're basically... Um... I will... I guess I will blind the zombie. Yeah, it does roll. I just double check the spell. It does say you roll its own initiative, so... Hemlock roll... Fine Familiar rolls its own initiative. Yeah, it does say that in Fine Familiar. It's rolled its own initiative in combat. Wait, but you can also... You can also choose as an individual to, like, go at a certain time that is at least before your own. Or after your own. You can it's delay the, your own turn. Well, I know, but the issue is I lose my reaction for holding spells, and Hemlock loses his ability to use flyby because he needs to hold his act, uh, remain close to things to deliver spells. So, either I, way, it doesn't. Yeah, I mean that's a thing, right? Is it yeah. just you, you don't get flyby is the problem. <laughs> well, it becomes more of a if he's next to it, the, a thing he gets hit and then he doesn't exist and then there was yeah. no problem. yeah or he uses his reaction to use hemlock's attack it's what <laughs> it, it, it's one sacrifice or the other either you had a hold for a reaction to use hemlock's flyby or it stands next to you and does the touch i can't you have your uh no i guess you can't never mind French. Um. French. <laughs> uh, French cast ready to use that sounds. Reaction is still a spell. Yeah, I'll just blind the fuck. Uh, yeah. The blind the ogre? ogre? Yeah. Uh, what's the save? It is uh -oh. constitution save. Mm. Nope. Nope. Jesus. Yeah. Is that 50 50? Blindness and con saves make me sad for that exact reason. Yep. But, I mean, that was a 50 50. True. Not enough. fair. Bit of small, but. Oh, yeah, you can move. My turn. Yeah. Uh, you can move. Feel free to move. Just. Got my will move. He will. What? What does he, he, he's seeing danger? He, he uses poison spray. <laughs> uh, <laughs> on zombies? On zombies? Yeah, I know that's the gag, guys. He wasn't going to. Um, <laughs> that's just that's a yawn T thing. All yawn T get poison spray. Uh, <clears throat> DM. Yeah. When are we fish finishing up? By the way, just we'll finish up after this combat for the night. After this combat, okay. Yeah. Uh, he will blast the uh, Eldritch. The, well, he'll, he'll blast the one above Uvek. They're both equally damaged. And he nat ones. Of course he does. <laughs> Arr, damn it. <laughs> Micah, you're up. Are there any penalties for nat ones in combat? Uh, I used to do you lose your bonus action. At the moment, I'm just not having it. All right. Okay. Hi. Um. So these lanterns are actually they're, they're still on fire, right? Yes. Um. If I were to shoot with a bow and arrow, like, for example, if I were to go for this guy down here, would that hit? Would that be a bother to Canyon? Well, like, no. But you want to get sneak attack either. 
So you probably want to hit one of the trees over next to people so you get your sneak attack. Mm. Okay. Uh, cause, uh, with the stuff that's coming out of the zombies, um, Micah is going to grab their short bow, uh, and light up an arrow with the nearby torch. Uh, that's generally an is action that? to light an arrow on fire. Is it? Not an Damn. object interaction. Uh, I guess I'll take it, sure. I mean, the thing is, guys, you remember, like, like, you, the oil is not gonna light on fire, though, guys. Like, you have to have, an, like, an oil-soaked arrow. Just putting an arrow in the fire uh, yeah, yeah. is not gonna light it on fire. Oh, that's, that's true. I do have <laughs> yes, oil, but that would but, take an action. Yes, but anime and most other medias ignore this completely. <laughs> anime. Micah, anime. have you tried this? Micah, have you tried this? Have you tried hmm. bleeding this? Every fire arrow hmm. is just a regular yeah. arrow that hasn't dreamed hard enough. Yeah. Like to, to have a fire arrow, you would actually need a fire arrow, like an arrow designed for it. Otherwise, it's not going to do anything. Man. Okay, never mind. Uh, just to make sure I got this right, because I can't remember. Um, for my side bolster actions, I know it applies to my daggers. Um... But I can't, like, make them into, like, an arrow, can I? No, it's just a dagger. Yeah. Okay, It's just cool. a dagger. Uh, For flavor um, purposes, you technically can, but it's still a dagger. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. it's still, it's like, it doesn't damage. increase the range or anything or yeah. damage yet. Okay, cool. Then, in that case, I will just, uh, I will attack the thing next to Uvek. Um, I'm gonna do, come on, where's my convert? I am not used to... Where is, where is my thing? There it is. Okay. Oh, it's in the inventory? Oh. Is it your knife or your... If you're a short bow? Uh, well, I'm gonna do action, a stagger. If you're doing an action, you click on your action, Zaku. Yeah. yeah. And that's dead. Yeah. You just... Yeah. Yeah, so... Okay. That'll hit. So Add that's... your sneak attack. That's a ratio. Sneak. Oh, you did. You ripped. You oh. clicked on the wrong item. But it's a. I'll. I'll take okay. the hit. So re-roll. Just uh, do me. What's it? Two d six is what you got for sneak attack. What? I think it's only one d six. No, it's two d six currently. Or yeah. Double. So roll me three d six, oh. and then I'll just do the math for you, Zaki. Okay. Thank you. Oh. So thirteen damage to it. Sweet. Okay. Um. Uh, the top one. Yeah. It is so be- looking effed up. It is falling apart. Okay. Um, then I'm going to um, use my. What's it? It's like my. I have a bonus action where I can t- attack again, as long as I no. don't move. No. No. It's you have a bonus action to get advantage if you don't move. Okay. Uh-huh. Um. In that case, I can't really go anywhere, so... Rogues are one-hit wonders in the very literal sense. Damn. Generally, if you cannot hide, you will want to use the advantage, Mm -hmm. uh, and not move to crit finish. Or you run away. Or you run away. Mm -hmm. Or you run away. So and there's, there's a big no scary ogre. There's the big guy. Yeah. There's and at the at moment, it, are... it, he's not incorrect that it'll move towards its closest thing, and you are one of the closest things. <laughs> Screams. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna bonus action to get the fuck away from oh, you. Just that. move. You don't need the bonus action move. yet. You just move. Oh. oh, right. I have my woman with me. It's been a while. Sorry, guys. No worries, Aggie. We're big chillin'. Uh, then I, yeah, I guess I can't really do anything else. Yep. Right. Hey, Husk Zombie turn. We'll go after Canyon. Two attacks. Does that hit? Canyons I see? Yes. Yeah, figured a hit. 20 would hit. Oh. You don't yeah. have to play it on. <laughs> Unfortunately. What is, what is Canyons I see? Uh, I believe 18 with the shield. Uh, do I need to do the damage myself, or does it automatically? Oh, hold up. Uh, no, you... Well, you can actually click on the... Uh... 
heart hover. If, yeah, if you hover over the five, you'll see a heart. If you click on the heart, it'll do the damage itself. Not, Just make sure you have not the one. heart. Not the heart. Sorry. The, the, the minus. The minus. Yeah. Just make sure you have your check on Oh, uh, the minus. Okay. Cool. And second, second attack. attack. That one. There you go. E. It's funny how it does pretty much min damage against everybody but Judah. <laughs> no! I don't want to hear it. Can you hear <laughs> The zombies just know how important of a target Jericho is to take down. Oops, sorry. I keep grabbing They that. heard tales of what happened to those pirates on those ships. Listen, his right. ass is too fat. Jericho's ass is actually not particularly fat. Uh, that kind of will doesn't Dave belong. have to stay within 15 feet of you? 30. 30, I'm pretty sure. Yes. 30. 30 35 30 there. Within 15 feet. You'd have to be uh, there. She's going to move over here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, she's going to go ahead and... I don't know. Dave isn't doing anything right now, but uh, she will go ahead and attack this one. This zombie in front of her with the long sword. Trying to find my abilities. Actions or that'll hit for thirteen slashing damage. Nice. Ooh. Cool. And she'll hold off on action surge for now. Did you want to make an attack with your Echo? Yeah, you should be able to do that. I can do both? I thought it was instead of my... No, uh, you can use, you can make your uh, Echo do an attack, but it, you can only do it equal to the yeah. amount of times in your proficiency bonus. Or your con bonus. So you can do it three oh, times yeah, a day. Oh, yeah, Unleash Incarnation. Yeah. Yeah, sure. It might be a good time to kill that top one. <laughs> Let's yeah. go, Dave. Yeah, Dave now has a longsword. D just so you know, nice. Dave does not get flanking. It doesn't count as a creature. Yeah, no. I'm, I'm just letting the party know, Dave so it doesn't real. help Uvek and them. That'll kill it! Hey. Hey. I gotta roll something now. There. <laughs> Does it explode? Yeah. Goodbye. Good job, Dave. High five. <laughs> Let's go, Dave! Let's go, Dave! I believe that's it for her turn. Yeah, she pops. Uh, oh. I need everybody to make a con save with Juniper, Uvek, Jericho, and Dave. Dave needs to as well. Dave, uh, Dave still takes damage from stuff. I will do amazing at this. I believe so. I don't. Th I think echoes are affected by. This, is an echo immune to poison? Yeah. It, uh, immunity to all conditions. Not conditions. That's damage types. Not oh. Damage types. I am amazing at that. Uh, saving throw, saving yeah, it's too much. We're going to have that. Okay, damage. so it's just a saving throw for first time. So, Dave blows up. Dave! <laughs> <laughs> Dave, no! Because he's only got one HP. Dave was killed in his hubris. <laughs> Dave was killed in his own hubris. As you look at Dave, Dave just goes poof! <laughs> Taking you down with me. Uh, Judah takes nine. Uvek takes. I'm down. Oh, oh God! No. Is, Fun. Is is Dave an object? Yeah. Objects are immune to poison damage. Where does it say that he's an object? It doesn't say anything. That's the problem. He's. I. It's been ruled by. We, we're ruling it as like it's, it's kind of a special thing, right? Because uh, they have been ruled as objects, at least as intended by the creator, I believe. Uh, hold on, I'm pulling up my D and D Beyond. I mean, uh, they, I said I, they did not make these things very well. Like the Echo Knight did not describe its shit well enough. <laughs> not very well written, but I, I thought oh. we had talked and said Dave is an object. Yeah, I know, a, I know uh, it does. At the same time, it's like, I don't, that's why I was... Um, well, no, I, I, think it becomes, I think it becomes complicated if you apply something to it that isn't there. It's just an image. Like, by definition, it's not much more than 
the basic illusion, like I, minor I, you know, illusion. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll call it isn't affected by poison because it doesn't have any lungs. <laughs> Like, it technically yeah. doesn't even inhabit a space, although we've been flavoring Dave to be different in that it seems to be an animal. Well, that's illusion. it. And, and, and he has the ability to pick shit up, right? Like, he has physical feature, right? Hence why I've been kind of more loosey-goosey with him. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so, so and, an Echo Knight is basically you trying to... Um, is a fighter that can manipulate time and probabilities, because originally... Yeah, I, I know, but we be... flavored it differently, so it doesn't work like that. I'm... Geez. Yeah. I'll say no, because technically the way we're flavoring it, it's kind of an undead. Dave isn't like the other girls. <laughs> so I'll say he doesn't. Uvek takes uh, four points of damage, and Juniper Oof. takes four points of damage. Dave lives to see another round. Hey. Love that for him. That feel when Dave does, but fucking Jericho does. <laughs> That's okay. We know who's Jericho. Have face. you have you considered removing your face? Valid. <laughs> now it's the ogre's turn. Ah, big oh, boy. No. One. It's big boy time. Two. Oh, hello. Hello. On the plus side, only gets one attack. <laughs> have you heard of our Lord and Savior, uh, Jesus Christ? <laughs> Have Jesus. you heard of our Lord there and Savior, he misses, Ty uh, He misses you, Uvek. He slams the ground next to you. Finally, the last... He compels you. He just one, like holds his finger two, together, three, just like a cross. Five, six, seven. Can't reach, so he dashes. That's his turn. Jericho, death save. Jericho! Jericho! Do you do public or private death saves? Public. Yeah! <sighs> Not quite sure why you'd private a death save, actually. Jer oh, I guess so the other party doesn't That's know they're blind. hemorrhaging. Yeah. yeah. Hemlock's up. Um. Uh... He will move near the zombie. I guess. I mean, to be fair, I'll give you some knowledge. Zombies aren't smart enough to, like, identify it as a magical threat. <laughs> Is he gonna get hit? Probably not. Okay. Unless it's the only thing by him, you should be safe. If, if, it, if it's the only target, then it's another story. <laughs> I... Well, that's Hemlock's turn. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not murdering my players. <laughs> it's gonna be our Uvek instead. He uh, can take. Oof. Mm. Oof. Oof. So Uvek's glad it decided to spare Dave. What is Uvek's AC? Uh, 19. But uh, I can use shield if I really want to, but I'm not. Because I have I plans. We'll use uh, my reaction on the 20. Okay, so you take six damage. Oh, thank you. I minimum. appreciate you. Three minimum. Yep. Yeah. I appreciate you. Jennifer, you're up. Uh, All right, Jennifer, we got this, right? Right? And Uber just looks around to see Jennifer running away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> feels bad, man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the one on the left's been hit. Oh, it was? Yeah. Oh, that was that one. No, the one in front was the new one that dashed. Um, I will hit the one on the left. Maybe. I will hit, but do you decide damage again? Jesus Christ. Ran, do something. Turn us into a dinosaur. <laughs> Go back, you're up. Alright, Jericho. Here's what I'm gonna do for you. I'm gonna pick you up. I'm gonna give you a bit of lay on hands. Uh, and I like Heath's method of doing things where you can't just do one point at a time. So I'm gonna give you five HP. That sounds lovely. And I'm also gonna cast Shield of Faith on you, so you better use that properly. 
Here you go, young man. Remember to yeah. use your shield properly. Yeah. Now you run along home. <laughs> yeah. No. They are all the same age. If not, Jericho might even be a little old. <laughs> Baby at heart. Stand Baby away from heart. everything so that shield never gets hit. Exactly. So, yeah, you run along now while B Papa Uvek deals with this. Pats one on the head. <laughs> Oh my god, Daddy Uvek, you're so strong. Daddy Daddy Uvek, you're up. I'm assuming it, Uvek's not going to move and take three attacks of opportunity, so... No. <laughs> as tempting uh, as that sounds. No, thank you. I'm going to cast uh, Grip of the Dead onto um, the zombie, the big, big boy. The ogre? Okay. Gwendol Gwendolyn, Gwendolyn has Gorilla Grip, confirmed? Yep. Firmly grasp nope. it in your hand. Does That's it, not the gorilla grip I was talking about. It does. Uh, no, it does not take any now. I'm doing good. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, zombie. You, <laughs> they, it, it, it's a 50 50. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's 40 55 45 because it's yeah. got to roll a 10. Yeah. Close. Close to 50 50. A little better in its odds. A little slightly better in its odds. Uh, Eldritch Blast into Hurt Zombie. He's good. Actually, you know what? He's, he's going to try to save the day. Ha ha! British Mamba! Shatter! And he will shatter the oh. three zombies all together. Hey, I'm so. Hey! Michael, you better take nice. that back. There he is useful. He has his uses. You only got eight damage off on that guy. Hey, you know what? It's eight more, um, it's eight more than we have last time. Jesus. <laughs> They're probably so well. I don't know, <laughs> but they really don't want to die, I guess. What the fuck? Jesus! <laughs> Keith, your 20s! Why do you have so many? No matter the game, you have so many 20s! He's stealing them all from you. <laughs> God, the worst part is he would have killed that zombie if he frickin' had pulled that off. Oof. British Mamba has shit luck! <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so... The one's not looking that great. The one, oh, far one's near, is on death store. Well, you know, on destruction death. store, let's say. Am I able to reach that given these two? Yeah, I'll let you thread the needle. Okay. Um, I mean, you could just also move a couple down if you want to say you got a better angle. Like if you move I, here, you get out of the angle. That's a that's a spot I can be in. Yeah, it's not a torch. you're hugging the wall. Zaku just, and Micah just disappears <laughs> into the wall. <laughs> All right, boys, I'll see you. I, you don't have to move there, but you can say you move there, then move back to get you the angle, or you can move up too. Like if you want to go like here, you'd get an angle. Mm -hmm. Um, but, uh, I probably won't need to use the advantage then because it's almost dead. Assuming, actually, the advantage mm -hmm. is the, the you know it's less about getting the crit and more making sure you hit. Yeah. Um, You're not well, allowed to move though. If you do it, you that costs all your movement. Uh, that's fine because I don't need to go anywhere. I guess. Yep. So I will roll my. Thingy. And then I press a plus for my bonus action. It's dead, Zach. Yep. Oh, okay. Like the, the one minimal damage will kill it. Sweet. Um, then I guess I still have my bonus, right? Well, you probably would have used it on ticket. Oh, on, on ticket. Hey, got a two, it blows up. Cool. It doesn't blow up! Well, what? Oh wait, that's a good thing. <laughs> what? I want tear. I want blood for Uvek. <laughs> no! Blood for the blood god. Bones for the bone throne. Let's go for the skull throne. I'm sorry. If, if this is anything, man, this is uh, this is the grandfather you're facing. <laughs> anything else? To, uh, I guess yeah. Uh, anything else, Aki? Uh. Yeah, I'm good. I'm gonna sit right here. I'm just gonna vibe. And Canyon, gonna vibe. two attacks on ya. Oh goody. Oh goody. Oh no. 
Well, at least that one missed. I am uh, rolling stupid today. You already uh, used the reaction, didn't you? No, my oh, no. 10 just came back. Oh, okay. Uh, we used my reaction just gonna... on that first one. Uvax is going to look to Kenny and says, I appreciate your uh, willingness to take hits. I appreciate that. 16 misses. So that is set... Or third, 17. 17 hits. Seven. Like, no, 17 just misses. 17 misses. How many yeah, no those do you get a day? Four. That's your third Four one, the right? Rest. Yep. Just make I'm sure. You're... Almost out. D just double. Oh wait, did you? Oh, so I don't. I you don't. You don't take any damage. damage yeah, you can put the nine oh. back. He made you miss. How do I add it back? Just go to your sheet and add nine. Okay. You can right click on your thing, and at the bottom it has the number. Okay, you can replace it. Active. Yeah. Well. I said number, so I hope that filled in. But and yeah. A token. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. that thing. Hey, so what's you this thing on the thing. <laughs> if All you right. press plus and then add a thing, which is a number afterward, that's a lot you of can words. then change. Can you fucking listen? <laughs> Audio right. change just so quick. <laughs> uh. She's gonna go ahead and take another stab at the zombie in front of her. That hits! Hey. Nice. How's it looking? It's bloody. Nice. Uh. Sorry, what? Dousting, because it doesn't believe. Sorry. Yeah. Oh. Punnage. We're punnage away. And Dave will go ahead and take another attack as well. You'll have to move. Oh. Dave's gonna go up here. Unless Dave just wants to attack Jericho. <laughs> <laughs> this is his moment. He wants to pipe, be man. the party phase. If there is a person that looks identical to you, something, something, something. <laughs> That'll hit. Nice. And you know what? She'll go ahead and use second wind. Or action, no, surge. Uh, action surge. That's the one. Yeah. Other one. Wind. It's been a while since I played a fighter. That's Sorry. right. Yeah. You barely took I any damage. <laughs> I don't think this fight has been big enough for second win or action okay, surge. Okay, fine. Damn. I'm just okay. Saying. <laughs> hey, bitch. Yeah, you can't take a short rest. It's not like you can't. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I'm stupid. Who back would like a short rest after this? No, you don't. Continue you don't want the help. Activity. You don't want the help. You don't get the help. Okay. <laughs> you know what? Actually, I <laughs> wants the help. What are you talking about? It's Jericho that doesn't. Who back wants it? Who back? Jericho about doesn't to get want counted. help ever. So <laughs> this is honestly just a part of my master plan. Hey, you get your axe <laughs> surge off, Canyon. Sorry, what? You get your axe surge off, or are you gonna just let you know this nah. zombie keep hitting you? <laughs> so we can keep hitting. Okay. okay. Ogre Zombie's turn. Gonna oh. swing at Uvek. Big sadness. He missed! Uh, I misses. Husk Zombie attacks. Well, that'll hit. That does it. Yeah. At this least is... I'm not rolling any 20 so far. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate you. Why unlike unlike Storm on our game see. yesterday, who kept murdering yeah. our fucking poor blade singing wizard. Oh. <laughs> For some reason, Uvex is the only health bar I can't see. Uh, yeah, yeah it's because Uvex. I think you, yeah, I can't see it either. Wait, why do I have five health all of a sudden? Because I gave you five HP and right, also that it hurts. shield of faith. Oh, also. um, sorry. Before before I forget, uh, did my dueling? automatically add or is that something I needed to add manually? It should have automatically add it as long as you import a duo. Yep, it's added. Okay. It's cool. added. You can you can click on the damage bar and you can actually see what it's rolled. Yeah. Uh, cool. Thank you. Hey yep. Jericho, you're up. Uh Jericho gets up bleary eyed Um and kind of look scans the situation and he's just going to cough. And in coughing, uh, there is going to be a healing word that is gifted to... <sighs> is Uvek even... Like, has Uvek been touched once this entire fucking fight? Uvek's been I fucked up pretty bad. 
Yeah. You got a lot of I naughty touch. Yeah, I can't see his health bar. I just added it, but it's not taking. Weird. I think you have to refresh it. If you added it to the prototype, it doesn't update the token yeah. out. Yeah, I don't Oh, he died. Ubek just, go, Ubek Ubek. just oofed. Oh, Ubek no, just... not again. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Um. Don't worry about me. No. <laughs> this is Jericho. <laughs> we're talking about people. Come on. But yeah, Jericho. He's he's just, he's gonna he, 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 cough and then heal because there's <laughs> still that big baddie and that big baddie. I don't think has been. Uh, properly diddled the way it should, so. <laughs> wow. Do you want Uma to diddle it? Please do. Phrasing, people. <laughs> phrasing. <laughs> Jericho would love That's to exactly watch that. We do need to leave soonish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. We should hopefully be done here soon. Most of these things are near dead. Oh, I forgot to actually roll. Oh, no. <laughs> that is 11 HP to Uvek. Thank you. Yep. I appreciate you. M move it quick, guys. We'll try to cut slow on the descriptions, guys. Just let's try. <laughs> uh, Hemlock. I will... Oh no, just sign. Oh, sorry, Jericho. What are you up to? Oh no, uh, it was basically just that, uh, and uh, me getting up and then limping over to I don't know, fucking this side. Okay. You're not doing anything. Oh yeah, I forget I have one of those. Oh, uh. <laughs> dodge. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably. Okay, Hemlock stays where he is. I'm taking it. Uh, yeah, probably. Jennifer, you're up. Um, I will telling me it's my phone, I get it, game. No, I'm no, I'm sad. deleting tokens from the initiative. Oh, okay, it just keeps spamming, it's my turn, making loud sounds at me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, for some reason it's it so decides to do the, so the sounds even. But anyways, yep, uh, go for it, Jennifer. It's trying to, wa it's trying to wake up Jennifer Ooh, to make sure nice hit. Oh, <laughs> You're right. You finally got a, uh, that thing's near death's door Ooh. now. Hey. Uh, Gwendolyn, you're up. Oh, that's me. Um, you. Do be you. Uh, fuck. I will hit it with a shocking grass. There you go, attack spells. That's what you need to do on these things. <laughs> Onk. There you go, three damage. Onk. As uh, Hemlock electrifies and just swoops in and zaps the fucking things here. And gets him. The Dismambo will it. attack the next guy. Sorry, I'm trying to move it quick so you guys no, can get I, going. I, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> and he explodes. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, I, I I would let you guys, but since you said you're in a hurry, I'm trying to push it past so this no, gets through. No, it's okay. No, I I was done. Uh, he blows no, up. Okay, Can't save Uvek. I think uh Uvek, I think Uvek missed his turn. Did you? Yeah, because he deleted my token. I was oh, before. Oh, oh yeah, I was after you're right. I was before. So, uh, Uvek, we will yeah, just yeah, add your initiative again to re-roll it, and I'll put you back in. Hey. I think that's where you were, oddly enough. No, I was before... I was before... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I was right before Gwen, so... Yeah. I'll make my call save. You get your turn now, but it, it wouldn't have changed anything. The thing would explode regardless. Hey, you only take half damage. Good for you. Three, two damage, Uvek. Oh, whoops. Uh, what's your... I was at 27, so I'm 25. And it's Ubek's turn. And he is going to look at this big or ugly orc um ogre motherfucker. Okay. And he's gonna smack. Sh and he is not gonna smack, he's gonna smack the ground. <laughs> Hit your big toe. 
Yeah. Ow, you're my big foot. Toe. I just okay, you're myself. <laughs> yeah, um, Micah's gonna move all the way over here and then gonna attack this uh, zombie explodey. So, boop. That'll hit. Don't forget to add 2d6. And 2d6. Boop. Oh, uh, so close. Damn it. Well, not really. so if you rolled long. max damage, you would have killed it. Well, <laughs> how, come, how come there's like a ghosty version of the token. Oh, that's I where you it. were. It tracks where you were, so if you backtrack... Oh, that's useful. It okay. is. Yeah, uh, that's all I need to do. I'm done. Okay, two attacks on Canyon, because these things aren't that clever. That'll miss! That'll miss! Woo! Woo! Hey, my dice are finally going against you, uh, going against me. Canyon, you're up. Alright. Let's try to kill this zombie thing. I don't like that it's attacking me. Well, I prefer it attacking me over other people, but still. That'll kill it! Mm. It doesn't blow up! Woo! She's gonna go ahead and move... Uh... Would this be flanking? Yes. Can she be there? It is a tomb. You can step on it. Okay. Climb on it. It's not, it's not like a hundred... It, well, technically, you're climbing in it, but yeah. Because <laughs> the, right, the lid's going. off. <laughs> Probably it's taking easy. a short rest after this, aren't we? Yeah, you guys will be Probably. taking a short rest. So I'm going to I'm gonna use the second wind. Uh, the other action one, surge. action surge. <laughs> There's two <laughs> abilities, and I will never get them right. So let's stab this guy again. So it's a plus two to hit for this. So Yep, you hit. Nice. Good hit. Good hit. Woo. Ogre Zombie will turn and hit you since you just stabbed it. Brood. No, the zombie sucks. Bonk. Watch there it save you. every con save from the thing down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it was rolling good on them saves, but can't roll a hit worth its life. I don't think it's That's gonna okay. get That's a okay. It's a good chance um, you guys can take it down before it gets a chance, yeah. Honestly, because... Yeah. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... Where, where the fuck... I always forget where this fucking thing is every single time I want to do it. Oh my god. What is it you want to do? That's a lot of text. He's gotta roll his d6. Huh. One! He's back the to the cat! cat. <laughs> Not the cat again! <laughs> Let's go! I'm manifesting that. Jericho blinks. <laughs> and... He just... Yeah? Like, like the, the, I imagine, like, nobody else can see this. Jericho just sees the image of a cat that seems to be attacking the thing's toes. As it moves, <laughs> Th that's that's about it. that's about what it's contributing. Jericho, he just <laughs> he, he just he just utters some words <laughs> to um I don't fucking know uh, Uvek once again, and it's just <laughs> if you could finish it, that'd be wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying, buddy. I'm trying. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna scare him with the hammer smash, you know? I mean, the floor smash. Dave also gives a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing amazing. Uh, we believe in you. Anyways, uh, anything else, Judah? <laughs> Jericho would like to pass away. <laughs> Hemlock, I'm assume, stays. Yep. Juniper, you up. That hits for 12. Let's go. Let's go. He's you're chipping away at him. Uvek, you're up. All right, Uvek, it is time for Warhammer time. Does does he get plus two with Canyon being flanking or no? Yeah, it's plus two to hit. So cool. just don't roll a one. Thirteen. We're whopping four damage. Uh, no, it's also gonna be a three d eight. Ooh, nice. That'll fuck him up good. And uh, yeah, that's oh uh. You know what, since... Wait, does Channel Divinity... Is my Channel Divinity a... It's an action for Channel Divinity, I'm pretty sure. 
No, but like, uh, I have Inspire and Smite, which I just want to see if it, I recover it on a short rest. Yeah, I'll do it. Uh, I'll give a Inspire and Smite. And I'm going to give it back to Jericho since he's pretty hurt. So take uh, 14 points of uh, temp HP there, Jericho. Oh, bless. That was temp <laughs> HP to him. Okay, I see what you did, yeah. Gwendolyn, you're up. Um... Is it going to touch with this one Yeah! All impact. <laughs> that is so weird to see me just 5 HP, but... <laughs> I just old lawyer, yeah. Uh, you see a yeah. fucking hemlock glow red hit the fucking zombie and knock him back 5 feet. Boy, it looks so strong. In Not in uh, yeah, Dave. Just that way. Yeah. Yeah, into Dave. Oh no! Actually, I guess he can't be shoved back then. Oh, he can't. Dave well, I mean, I think spot. he can go he, through Dave. He would Dave will hit just another move. target. I don't know the rules of that. It doesn't do anything. Yeah, it wouldn't do anything because, like, if you hit another object, you can't go through another person through a shove, so it wouldn't move. It, he stumbles back. Yeah, that's he stumbles, but he doesn't do anything. Yeah, he, he yeah. stumbles, uh, but he doesn't get shot. That's my turn. No matter what, it changed the dynamic, Henny. <laughs> no. Get his mama's up. Let's see if he can get a good hit off. Uh, actually, you guys are going to take a short rest. Does he get anything else? Nah, he doesn't. I could have used a different spell. Whopping seven damage. Just guys, are, he's just being chipped away at. This thing is like falling apart. <laughs> Micah, you're up. You can finish it. Finish it, Micah. I'm gonna really finish it. Doesn't explode. 69, oh 360 no scope. Are you advantage no move thing? Uh, yeah, because I'm not. I can't really go anywhere. So I will use my. Oh, one second. Inventory. There you go. Boop. Plus some. Get the advantage. Yeah, uh, so six hits. Six Plus damage, 2d6. Could you do it? Six. Did I oh do it? Oh my god, it's got one HP one left. HP. What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I'm gonna All run right, this one like a normal no. zombie, so unfortunately, uh, Dave Solo? Canyon's up. Dave Solo? Dave Solo. Let Dave you hit want me to first. roll not with advantage? Actually, Absolutely. no, you know what? She will. She will. She'll question. switch places with Dave. She suddenly is in Dave's place. Now Dave has advantage. <laughs> There's not advantage oh, for it's flanking. It's, it's, and it's Dave doesn't possible. get... I told oh. you, Dave doesn't get that. He doesn't incur oh, yeah. flank. Never mind <laughs> just that. Went through yeah. that. God damn it. <laughs> and he's like, I switch places. Wait, no, I don't. Never mind. It's okay. Dave, Dave, will hit him. Dave will hit him. Dave will not hit him. We believe... That, oh, uh, that actually still hits. Oh, Dave hits him. Oh. Uh, but we'll see if it lives. Please do not. Please don't. Does okay. not! Hey! Da -da 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 As the creature falls down and fumbles to the ground and dies, Bitter's Mama goes, Hmm, probably a good time for a rush, my friends! <laughs> yeah. I prefer that. Canyon's gonna high five Dave. I like the idea Orange that Hemlock helped by pushing into Dave's pushing, um, <laughs> into the sword. Absolutely. You love to see it. Familiar teamwork. They thought you ugly zombie thing. <laughs> As you guys have killed off the zombies, and we will pick up next week because people gotta go. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good morning. Goodbye. I'm gonna use my head for...